You know, you kind of got to be paying attention for that to work. Oh, did you cue me? You fucking dick. Good job, Alex. I was doing the Discord thing. You dick. I love you, buddy. Did you cue me? I did, twice. Oh. But that's okay, because hold on. We need it. I was putting it in Discord. I didn't expect you to take ten seconds. I didn't have much to do. I love you too, Gang Green. And yet again, by the way, I, I did talk to Alex. I love you. You know that. And I didn't mean to offend you in any way. All right. We're doing good. All right. Cool. 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 So, we are doing the thing. We, today, are going to be making a modified beef wellington. This will not be made with a tenderloin. Um, this will be made with flaming yawn tenderloins. So this will be a smaller version. Now, hold on. There we go. This will be a smaller version, but that's all right. So it'll be awesome. We have never made a flaming or <laughs> I've made flaming yawn before. I've never made a beef Wellington before. I've also never done a cooking stream before. So this is going to be absolutely amazing. So we're going to be taking our time on this little journey. Uh, we have our meat, we have our mustards, we got, we got everything we need, okay? Um, I think, let's see, our first step needs to be, let me go grab a cutting board, I'll be right back. And, by the way, we have our lovely every person, Broken Bungie. There you go. Um, let's put this over here. Uh, nice. So now those are our three cuts of meat. Now, I, I've already washed my hands multiple times, but you know, always wash your hands. Hands wash. Now, we got that right there. Get rid of that. That's just the link to our garbage can. We don't need that. Here are three little cuts of meat. Now, we're going to chop that piece off. We don't want any residual. Oh my god, look at that. We don't... We're just going to pull that right off because that's just that nice and oh god, that's so tender. Oh, there's a garbage can right there. Alright, so now we're going to pull that out. Pull that out. Pull that out. Meat slaps. Whew, these are very tiny. These are going to cook very, very quick. Now, with this meal, we will be making a full meal. We're going to be making a beef wellington with loaded potatoes and a almond garlic broccoli. Um, all of this is fresh. All of this was just bought today before starting this. So... The first thing with these cuts of meat, and again, we're just going to look it over. We see that it has 
I have no idea what that is. I think it's just pieces of fat. Um, it has been trimmed very well. No fatty parts. This is going to make for very good beef Wellingtons. Okay, so first, let me grab a rag for you. Rag, aka entire towel, because that's what we use for rags here. Um, we're gonna wrap that right around our freezer door so we can just keep wiping our hands on it as we go. All right, so for this, what we're gonna do is we actually have this lovely cast iron pan right here. So, this cast iron pan is what we're going to first, we're gonna uh, put a little bit of oil in it, and we're actually gonna pre season this pan a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we will sear these beautiful pieces of meat in this pan. Afterwards, they will have to rest for a moment and we will make sure that they get a nice coating of mustard for the next proceeding items. Okay. So, with that, we're going to take a little bit of our olive oil. It doesn't have to be extra virgin, doesn't even have to be virgin, it can just be regular olive oil. All right, how the fuck do we open this? Oh, look at these fancy people. We have tabs on our lovely oil. Hmm, those poor people will never figure it out. Hmm, you're right, you motherfuckers. Ha ha. Ha, ah, I'm gonna break your neck. Ha ah. Get off there, you know. Cool, well, that came off. Nice. Okay. So, let's go ahead, because it's going to take a little bit of time, but we're going to need to get it done. We're going to take our wonderful homemade pot holders, and we are going to start pre-seasoning our pan a little bit, because this pan is a little rusty, we just want to buff that out before, before we do so. We don't want our meat getting any crazy stuff in it. So we're just gonna let that sit for a minute. Let's go back to our meat. So now with this meat, we do want to make sure we get a nice little uh, seasoning on it before we pan fry it. Runa coming in, what up Runa? Bungie is, yes. You are right, guys. We are doing this filet, uh, filet mignon. We are doing beef Wellington. <laughs> I knew he'd show his meat on stream one day. Yo, Luke, thank you for that host, buddy. <laughs> buddy, show us his bathroom. You know what's funny? That's the only place this won't reach. It won't reach the bathroom. All right, so right now we have the oil on our cast iron pan just working around the pan. Let's, oh shit, what just happened? That is one hell of a peppercorn grinder. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do that. Let's watch that real quick. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked. How about under the sink? Yo, you don't want to know what's under my bathroom sink. That's where all the kinky shit is. That's why I hope everybody who goes in my bathroom doesn't look under there. I have taken mental notes. Hey, yeah, if you look under my sink, you're gonna see all my fun shit. I have to move that before my grandma gets home. <laughs> don't want the AC in that stuff. Oh, this doesn't come off. This is not working. All right, let's try this again. Let's try seasoning some meat. Got the same one, what you got? Brian just said fuck it, yep. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's. Now this is a combination of garlic, pepper, salt. This is everything. And now, let's flip those babies over. All right, there we go. So now, let's go ahead. Oh shit, let's pack a pipe. All right, I got you. 
<laughs> redeemed the herbs. <laughs> the same cameraman as the Blair Witch. <laughs> Yo. That's supposed to be an insult. <coughs> you saying I got shaky hands? Because you're right. So, now we also are just doing extra peppercorn. Um, really want to get this peppered up. Let's cap these. Get these off to the side. What the fuck? Is it, what? Yeah. Cool. Really want to move the meat around. <laughs> what the hell is a peppercorn? <laughs> Y'all, y'all are killing me. There we go. Ain't gonna have time for that, uh, pack. Oh, fuck yeah. I think I won't. Okay. Well, to be fair, nothing's cooking yet. This pan is. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right. All right, Bunny, if you just want to keep an eye on that pan for me. I will do that. The whole I stream will. will. Yeah, the whole stream will. Excuse me. It's all good. You can go back to a counter angle. All right, that's burning on there. That's exactly what I would like. Where the fuck did that bottle go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fucking jugs. Mm -hmm. I redeemed pot. Why is there a pan? <laughs> that's fucking great. Yeah, you're funny, bro. All right, pan is turned off. You want a pipe? I'll give you a pipe. There we go. Here's our fucking every towel. Towel used for fucking everything. I also shower with this towel. All right. This is a uh, cooking style smoking. I'm just gonna grind up some herbage. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it when you handle your meat roughly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, alright, buddy. Here, Luke wants to see the inside of my fridge. Show him. You get a fuck. There you go. Baking stream. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Alright. It's cooking. See, look, I'm using utensils. <laughs> I gotta try to not laugh directly onto the camera. I forget it's the mic today. Mm -hmm. Alright. Was that Nis? Thank you for that follow, bro. Glad to see you here, buddy. Is that your follower alert now? Oh yeah. Actually, it's oh yeah. <laughs> we out here. Oh, I don't jam my grinder. That's okay. Fuck it. No, don't fuck it. They say put that in your pipe and smoke it. I think they meant it. All right. Now, Bungie is particularly sensitive to uh, the marijuana smoke, so we burn incense. And uh, out of sheer respect. All right, got you with the hydrate. We're gonna hydrate with that. And then I love that no matter where I am in my house, I just throw shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how many hydrates are you gonna try to go? Oh, no, 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 it's because I just jammed a bunch of nugs in there, bro. I don't even care. Nothing's garbage now. All right. 
Now, by the way, guys, the whole reason I uh, I have this pan over here and it is currently seasoning a little bit anyway because it's been a long time since I've used it. So that's I. All right. Whew. There's chicken nugs too. <laughs> Fucking yeah. All right. Now this, if I burn four of these, you should be good, right? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Ooh, a little cherry. Cherry smoke. Okay. I can't wait to get into some fucking cooking here. Uh, oh, I farted. That's, that didn't happen, I swear. <laughs> Let's just keep that between us, okay? Thank you. Cool. Nah, that's I. Right. It's it's a metal pipe. It's all good. It ain't nothing gonna happen. We good. All right. We got that pipe pack. We're gonna leave all these utensils sitting right up here. Uh, got that over there. All right. Let's get back to some meat cooking here. So now we have all this over here. We are gonna put these potatoes on the floor. Oh look, our every towel was on the floor. All right, got that. Cool, the meat's chilling. Let's work on getting a little bit more oil in this pan. And we will be cooking these one at a time. So we're gonna just start this real quick. That's all right. And now, make sure these are still good. Get the rest of the seasoning off the board. Cool. Sweet. All right. So now we want to wait until the oil in the pan is just about smoking. Once we're just about at that smoking point, we're going to cook these one at a time. Because they're smaller pieces of meat, I don't want to overcook them on accident. So we're going to take this very quickly. Can't say take it slow because then it'll fucking cook. All we want to do is brown our meat, not cook our meat. And we definitely don't want to beat it. It's already tender. Okay, so now because my eyes are terrible, my glasses are heavily scratched, and I'm just fucking dumb. <coughs> we're gonna wait a minute and then wow, yeah, that went right at you. I'm sorry. That was fucking terrible. I'm a terrible person. Oh well it happens. Alright. <laughs> so <sighs> not extend. Oh, hold on, what I'm in. <laughs> Pepper towel. <laughs> All right. We want, now where are we gonna put these? Fuck. Okay, I didn't think this through. Just a second. We got a pan right here. Now, we are gonna set our meat right on this, in this pan. We'll let it rest right in there. We should be good with that. Now, yeah, boy. How's the pan looking? All right. If you look, chopping block back. We're just waiting. You can see, if you look real close, you can start to see the ripples in the oil. So we're, we're very close to this, very close. Magna reveal? <laughs> Retired lumberjack Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we are just at this smoking point, guys. So this is where we are going to be taking this very, very quickly. I'm just gonna fork out of here. All right, one piece at a time, guys. One piece. Now, we're going to keep this right on the side. We're going to try to keep that mostly on the heat. So that way you're covering most of the meat at a time. You really do not want to cook this. You're only trying to brown it. 
And you also don't want to flip it too soon because if you have to put it back on that side, you then have to reheat that side up. So make sure you're getting this as good as possible the first time around. Otherwise, you can very easily overcook this piece of meat if you're doing it at a smaller scale as I am. Typically, you would have a full beef tenderloin. These are just flaming now. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that browning. We couldn't have done that better for a shot to try. And now because these are smaller, we don't even have to flip these on the side because it's not a full tender one. Put that down real quick, one more time, and then just watch out because I don't, I don't want to hit you because I'm going to swing and pivot over the pin. All right, here we go. Let's give it a next boil now. Actually, we'll let that sit. We want that to heat up for a second. Make sure that oil, that that oil, oil, that oil gets nice and hot. Give me just a second, guys. Appreciate all this good stuff. All right, there we go. Now this is our second piece of meat. We have three in total. Uh, it is actually one for me, one for uh, Broken Bungie, and one for Bungie's mom. We're all getting a very good meal tonight, courtesy of Broken Bungie. Okay. So from what I'm looking at, it's about, what, a minute aside, not even. Um, yet again, for a bigger cut of meat, you'd really want to go for about two minutes. I see why most people say that in their instructions. Um, these are just filet mignon cuts, though, so really no reason. All right. Very nice browning on that. You can see that we have that very nice crust along the edge. Very, very nice. You don't want any more than that. Yet again, not trying to cook the meat. That is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing better than a piece of beef sitting there killing up in that skillet. I love it. And they're trying to be said about a nice cast iron pan. This is actually one of my uh, grandparents' cast iron pans that they, oh, no, not quite that they had an entire set of from their wedding. Um, my grandmother can't use them. She never was able to use them. So I asked her, and she actually gave me the whole set. Now, sadly, this is the only surviving pan. But I have it, and it's a wonderful tool. So we're going to let that pan heat up one more time. Let's double check. Come over here real quick. Look at that. Thank you so much for that gift sub to Jugs. Whoever that was, y'all are fucking awesome. Appreciate you. All right. Now, with this being a cast iron pan, definitely do not want to touch this with your hand at all. These, like I said, these were actually uh, handmade by somebody I worked with at the Verizon call center. He was a really, really cool person. And they are absolute foolproof. All he did was use a loom with just different uh, strands of whatever this is and weaved them all together. Fucking amazing. Best pot holder. I have three of them and I'll never need pot holders for the rest of my life. All right, so this pan is now up to heat. Let's get it back on its side. Make sure we get that meat nice and coated in the oil on the corner. It's like listening to, to good music. Am I right, Bungie? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nothing beats. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
Now, yet again, because the, hot, the pan has been hot for a little bit, that is a little too much, so we just want to be careful on this other side, make sure we don't cook it too much. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, I think we are good. We'll move this over. Now we have all three of our pieces of meat resting. We're going to cut that off. All right, so now our next step in all of this, cooking ASMR. <laughs> what up, blue kid? <laughs> all right, Whew, holy shit, it's getting hot in here. Tell you what. All right, so now we are gonna let these set for just a moment. And uh, after these set for a minute, we are then going to coat them in Coleman's English mustard. This was the only English mustard I was able to find, if anybody else is able to. Um, any typical recipe, everything I've found pretty much leads to this. I don't know the exact difference of what this is, but fucking A. Gets hungry as shit. Blue kid. We are going to have the most amazing fucking beef wellington ever, I'm telling you. Fuck. All right. Never before attempted until now. Now what I will add as an aside, uh, many recipes do say that if you can't find English mus uh, mustard, uh, horseradish can be used as a substitute. Yes. Yep, yep. That is another one that people use heavily. Okay. So now... We are going to use, uh, well, shit. Right now, our next step would be, honestly, let's get some mushrooms chopped up. What we have to do is we're going to have to, uh, uh, let's keep our every towel on our every shoulder. We got these beautiful, giant portobellos. Portobello, portobello, whatever. Whatever the fuck you want to say. And we are going to be chopping these up in the mini chopper. Now, I did have another option for a chopper, but I figured, fuck it, I'm going to chop garlic. And then what do they do? My dumbass went and got minced garlic. So, you can tell how that went. I don't need to chop shit that's already chopped. All right. So now what this is going to be, this is going to be used as a inner layer to this Wellington. Now... It's, I never knew how beef Wellington was made, but I shit you not. I, when I thought it was just meat on top of meat inside of that, I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to put some onions and mushrooms in that bitch. Come to find out, there's mushrooms in that bitch anyway. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, fuck. All right. Mm-hmm. What if? All right. Make it again. We're just, I'll even bring these over here. Now, because I do not have a brush of any sort to be able to just slab these bad boys up, um, I'm going to use my fucking fingers because that's what I'm all about. We are mad motherfuckers in the madhouse. So, let's go ahead. And we will... Uh, not throw the lid away. Throw that stupid plastic. It was on the lid away. I don't know why I didn't think of putting the wire over my shoulder sooner. <laughs> Use those. <laughs> Luke, I've washed my hands multiple times. I really want to see... Holy shit. That's like a sweet and salty Chinese mustard. You want to try that? It takes a second. But holy shit, is that the most unique mustard I've ever fucking tasted? So. Let's yeah, go. it's got that, that very quick and aromatic horseradish-like burn that like a wasabi or a Chinese mustard would have. Yeah. But it then gets salty and almost sweet. Like a fucking sour patch kit. Sour, sweet, gum. Alright, so now, oh yeah. 
I think we need more slather and sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful mustard puck. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice mustard puck right there. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, get some of that naughty noise. <laughs> naughty. Oh yeah, so get a nice even layer. Um, it just needs to be coated. It doesn't need to be crazy, nothing like that. Okay. So. This is definitely the kind of stuff you want to really make sure your hands are clean before you go to the bathroom with. Right. <laughs> no, like, oh, he's not using soap. Well, yet again, I did one main wash. I'm not fucking soaping my hands every time. But the every towel is dirty as hell, so we're going to keep using that. And then touch the meat. <laughs> did I mention I had it on the floor once? Good thing you're not eating this. Okay, so there's our meat chunks with mustard all over. I might do another slather just to make sure that there's enough on them. Um, but let's go ahead and we're gonna start getting this taken care of. So we only have this mini chopper to work with. More than okay, it'll do everything we need it to. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is in the midst of all of these mushrooms, I'm also gonna be putting garlic I really appreciate garlic, so we're going to have minced garlic in there. All equipment, anything we're using has been completely... Usually, my microwave sits right here, okay? Like, this whole kitchen has been modified to do this shit. <laughs> that was satisfying. <laughs> That's fucking kidding as hell. I like that. That's neat. Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> if it wasn't uh, made clear by that warning loud noises. stuck. No hot sauce jugs. Only cooking today. Nothing but the finest. Well, can I give a little insight onto future plans? What's up? Please. Uh, those, the, the idea of adding hot sauces to potential future dishes Ooh. is going to be on the menu. Yes. Yes, it will be. How old is that pure machine? Um, I don't know. Add Bungie's mom. <laughs> At least 10 years. Uh, my uh, grandma passed down a recipe to my mom. Um, my grandma's a, a first generation Italian immigrant and uh, she passed down her recipe for pecan pesto to my mom. And we use that to grate the nuts. Beat up with another fucking pipe pack. I didn't even finish this one yet. I guess I just need to keep smoking. I just gotta, I'm just gonna keep this in my mouth while I'm doing this, guys. And also, if I sound disinterested, it's just because I'm trying to talk low because we are using the webcam microphone and I am holding the webcam. I don't want to burst anyone's eardrums out. We're at the point in this Beef Wellington where we do have to go through. Just had to get here and show my support. Dude, I fucking appreciate you, Dubs. For real, man. I appreciate everybody. Shit. Y'all are all fucking awesome. Everybody's fucking out here. <laughs> Placement and incense. 
I thought the purse machine was smoking. Oh, the pure. Why do I keep reading out his purse? I keep seeing the purse machine. What fucking purse? It's a purse. Now, what we're gonna have to do is because this is so moist, um, the big thing is you need it as dry as possible. So after I go through, and Dubs, I didn't forget your probably bowl pack, I just can't ash the one I got. So we're gonna have to do this multiple times. If this were a fucking pre-recorded video, it would be one of those speed up fucking moments, but it's not. So, well, this is what we're doing for a little while. It's so moist. <laughs> Oh, gushy. Time lapse with no time lapse. Blender ASMR. <laughs> I think that's the opposite of ASMR. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of ASMR is, you're inventing it today. Oh yeah. Anti-ASMR. The A in ASMR stands by for anti. Yet again, we are just slowly chopping mushrooms for one. Slowly chopping mushrooms for the next step of our beef welling from here. Okay. I think this is a good time for a static camera angle then. Yeah, this is kind of a, one of those moments, Bungie. As long as it's in the mount, you're good. Good? Why not? And that's kind of why we have this stand here as well. Because uh, this is going to be a little bit of a tedious process. Now, these pieces of meat, it's alright. They're bleeding out over there. That's cool. They're, they'll be fine. I promise. Shake that motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. That uh, little mini chopper there is actually very safe. Uh, it, the button will not let you press it unless the lid is locked in. Which, that may now be a, a modern convenience, but when they're making these fucking things, the fucking thing with mushrooms. Yeah, that sounded like a fucking cool thing to say. Beef Wellington is fun. Because people cook at 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, everybody, it's 11 p.m. I'm starting on more uh, technically simple yet uh, complicated things at the same time. You don't have the fucking right shit because you're a stubborn asshole who wanted to grind garlic, but you decided not to grind garlic and you just bought minced garlic and water rather than actually grinding garlic when you want to grind fucking just grind garlic. I could have had a full size food processor. Yep. I have a, a full size food processor at my house. For uh, chopping up large quantities of celery, specifically. That's fun, mama. And uh, yeah, we were we were mulling over bringing that or the mini chopper, and uh, 
In his infinite wisdom, Madhouse decided that Mini Chopper was the better option. And I still stand by my decision. Thank you. Dick. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing at me. How many of these do I need? Fuck. Enough to coat the Wellingtons. Oh, I'm halfway there. Oh, living on a We're making a beef wellington this evening. It will taste mighty fine. It will be so delicious, and I'll call it mine, oh mine. So beef wellington, oh wellington, oh wellington, where are you? Oh my god, I hate this one. This is now the worst part of this. I'm upset. I want to get back to cooking. I'm starting to sweat over here. This is faster if I even just chop these motherfuckers. Okay, guys. Well, uh, well, I have to make sure I do it enough, too, because if I don't, I have to fucking redo it and recook it all over again. Yeah, fuck this, guys. Let's fucking get him to some rope trap and shit. This is fucking dumb. will probably chop up a lot fucking easier up than a little mini chopper. I won't stop by for mine. <laughs> Jugs. You can blame Bungie. Bungie bought them. <laughs> you know how much... Okay, do you want to tell them how much that shit costs? All together? For, for... To make a beef wellington? I mean... To make a full beef wellington meal, at least. Yeah. Uh... I mean, Beef Wellington was most of the cost. Um, the biggest cost was uh, getting a good cut of meat. Um, that was $25 by itself. Uh, All together, uh, we're making about a $90 meal here. Well, I thought it was fucking, it was more, wasn't it? Well, besides things like... Oh, I got you, got you, got you, got you. Things that you probably wouldn't have anyway. Oh yeah, look at this. There we go. Now we're saving ourselves a lot of fucking time and frustration. And before you ah. guys suddenly assume I'm rich and can afford beef wellingtons all no. the time. No. I'm disabled and I get food stamps. And uh, uh, most of the time, it just covers what I need for a month. But uh, my mom has been really helpful and has been cooking uh, massive sized meals that last several days. So I had extra left over. And I want to make sure I always end my month with zero or else they, they are likely to take them away. So it's not just me being rich. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's because I'm so poor. <laughs> If it wasn't for my mom, it would be 
just enough very much because I struggled a couple of times. cheaper to cook your own meals at home, but not the ship. Obviously not everybody has that sort of ability. That is slash very time much. slash kitchen space. Ooh. Yeah. I can imagine that mixed with Okay. Yep. Y'all are gonna see how Mad Pals cooks. Mad Pals. I didn't get the time, but that's okay. I don't give a fuck. Don't need that shit. That's bonus. Biatch! Alright. More mushroom. Yeah, you might as well just grind a lot. Alright, it all needs to be. Now, what we're gonna have to do immediately after this. No time for time, man. There ain't no time for that shit. Dude, I can't even tell you how long I spent in the floor. By the way, that mini chopper is not supposed to stay on with no hands like that. I just fucking keep getting it to work every once in a while. Has redeemed ultra hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Personally, watched him turn off Ultra Hydrate for this specific stream. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're going to pull that out of there. Now, some people like to make this as literally thin as possible, but, uh, no. No, 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 no. I still want some of those bigger chunks because I want it to be a mushroom texture, not just a flavor. Because you're going to have not only the texture from the beef, you're going to have the texture from the mushrooms. Then you're going to have the texture from the prosciutto. And then you're going to have that wonderful crispy layer of that puff pastry. Almost done with this, guys. Yeah, mushroom on that. Yes. Yeah, it's been uh, a couple times. I already have. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. No reaction, right? Happens. <laughs> when, you, when you've burned yourself enough times, you realize it feels good. Fun fact, this is Gordon Ramsay's favorite dish. <laughs> also a fun fact, this is probably the first meal I've made with these fucking knives. And maybe the fourth I've made in this kitchen. I've been here almost a year. Yeah, I don't really eat home much. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever made a meal quite like this. Um, usually I'm the one who makes our seasonal meal a bit bit at work. I, uh, I made our Easter dinner, which I ended up making smoked beef briskets. Um, yeah, no, it was a good fucking time. Just a warning that. Anything you say while that's going, you're probably getting completely drowned out. More or less, but I don't give a fuck. Okay. That's me talking. I can only, I can only carry just so much. That's okay, because I love everybody. Oh yeah. Nice. This should take care of the rest of the mushrooms. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to slather our... Uh, So then we're going to go ahead and uh, slather our steak in another round of that mustard, really just to seal in the rest of those juices. Um, we are going to be mixing garlic. Oh, I have this bowl right here, dude. I, I, uh, I filled the one bowl already. A slap chop for this? I've never tried anything for this. I've never tried this. If you're talking about just chopping in general, no. No, I have not. We, I'm pretty sure I've come to the conclusion of what we've needed this for. <clears throat> so. Have you ever seen a slap chop? I have. Okay. Just don't plug this in or use it before it dries. I'm the asshole that has taken electronic and just douse it in water and say, don't plug it in. That works, right? Okay. All right. Uh, that. Yo. What up? What? What, is, what? what did I do, Luke? Oh, you saw the terrible looking house? Yeah, I know. You forgot the soap. Dude, I didn't want to drop the soap, bro. I did not want to drop the soap. Oh, what do you mean? For that? No, 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 no. That'll be washed later, dude. I was just getting the food off of it. Yeah, no. I, that, that'll all be washed later. I'm not fucking taking my time washing all that right now. Are you kidding me? Fuck that. <laughs> Luke, I love you. I'm also dense as fuck, so I don't understand jokes or sarcasm a lot of the time. I try to. I do after the fact. Ah, look, that every towel that we keep wiping our hands on. <laughs> yeah, now it's got sweat in the mix, too. All right. So now that we have these here, we are going to go ahead and do one more round of mustard. Now that they got this, actually... Here we go. Oh, shit. Ah! Did I unplug it? Uh, we'll find out. No, I didn't. I still see the light on. Oh, okay. All right. Now, we're going to do that. Yeah, no, I'm not going to fucking use that towel anymore. Trust me, that's kind of gross. Actually, I know what shine I use, but y'all don't trust me, so I'm just going to get a new towel. And I'm actually going to get another brown towel, so you think it's the same towel, but it really won't be. So this whole time, y'all will be fucking disgusted, but it'll really be a different towel. They now you've ruined it. Now they know. Oh, it don't matter. They're dumb. I'll be right back. Pretty your fault first, folks. <laughs> don't worry. They won't figure it out. This one's also brown. So, yeah, there's, ah, oh, man, mm-hmm, must be, mm. all right, I was gonna, put that over there, okay, chef has PayPal, <laughs> I don't think that's something you would even know, is it? Me? Yeah, I don't even think you'd know what my PayPal is. Well, because it's, uh, it's just your email, right? I don't know, maybe. You do know that stuff. Oh, shit. Whatever. Nice. 
nice English mustard. Yeah, gotta get one more coating. Now this kind of settled a little bit. If I had to hazard a guess, it's Madhouse 148 at Gmail. It'd be 184. 148's not an email. Oh, okay, so it's a Madhouse 184. Because that's the original. For those who don't know and haven't known me, when in doubt, mustard out. Harambe. Oh, I'm sorry. My hips don't lie. Okay, so now those are chilling. Let's go ahead. I actually want to get a bigger bowl for this. Um, we are going to go ahead. Now that we've fondled, on, fondled our meat one more time, we will throw all this in one bowl. You see, we have all those lovely cold mushroom pieces. Hopefully we don't have to use all that, but just in case we do, that's all right. We're going to put this on the fridge door. Now this is our new drying pill, not the first pill, don't worry. Fucking weirdos. Uh, fuck my door in here. God damn. <laughs> Garlic? Yeah, well, no, I, I thought of it, and then I was like, all right, it's on the camera. It's not even in the fridge, folks. Doing good. Okay, ooh, Woo. All right, so, nothing better than the fresh smell of some uh, garlic and water. So, now this is garlic and water. You do not want to get garlic and oil if you were going to do it this way. What was that? Oh, it just, <sighs> smells so nice. What the fuck was that? I think I touched my shirt pocket. <laughs> Scared me. Garlic. Yes, that is gar minced garlic in water. Good sir. I'm going to be mixing this in with my mushrooms while cooking them. You have to cook all of the liquid out of the mushrooms when doing this. Um, so that's why you don't want garlic in oil because, well, it won't be able to really dry out. So we're going to do that so we have a nice hefty garlic layer. Um, yet again. Oh, of course. Any questions, please feel free. I want to make sure everybody has any questions because this is my first time doing this. So if all of this goes well, all of you will have every step you need to do this. Now we're just going to take this up. We want to mix all this very well with a fork, so make sure you get it from underneath. So I'll just uh, uh, state the, the reasoning behind making sure it's dried out is um, you don't want any moisture to be absorbed by the pastry on the outside. Otherwise, the pastry won't cook before your meat does. I don't think this pan's going to be big enough. So now we're going to go back to our cast iron pan. Now, yet again, uh, how long does this take to bake? Um, well, get a bit, because this is a modified Wellington, I'm going to assume these are only going to take about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not entirely sure. I've never done this. And every other one I found was a full beef tenderloin. These are only the flaming young cutlets. So we'll see. Is a shirt required or can this be an NSG recipe? Well, as long as you don't fry the bacon naked, you'll be good. Bacon is involved with this recipe for the mashed potato portion of this meal. Filleting tin? Filleting tin? Well, yeah, I have little fillets. These aren't, this isn't a full tender one. Okay, so now we just need to get all this oil out of our pan. I don't want any oil left in my cast iron pan. As long as you wear a cock sock. Oh, yeah. Sounds kinky. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm confident. Let's actually, you know what? Let's go one more. I really don't want.
want any oil left in here. Okay. So, now, we are going to use a spoon. I thought I grabbed a fucking spoon out of here when I did that. Now, because I'm still fucking behind here. Let's get uh, a little bit more on here, man. Let me grab my other towel. <laughs> I don't care if it's right here. Damn, and we got the broccoli, and oh my goodness. This is going to fucking take forever. This is going to be like five hours of fucking cooking, y'all. Y'all thought you saw a fucking cooking stream before. This shit's ridiculous. I never saw a cooking stream like this. Fuck. You got to go home and pass out. Right? You see what I'm saying? Like, you're not even going to want to eat this by the time you're done. It's like, oh, well, fuck. That took fucking forever. I'm glad I could watch. Cool. Wait, what? Uh, not as long as the madhouse? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Was that a question? Filet Inkton? No, no, no. It's just a filet rather than a full tenderloin. So it's just a tiny little puck, pretty much, rather than a full fucking tenderloin. It's this big! Disclaimer, it's not really that big. Okay, so, let's go ahead. We are going to start heating up this pan. Uh, ooh, no, we're actually... Because we want to make sure that only the water sticking out, we don't want to burn it in the pan. We're actually going to put all this in here. Now, these, anybody can do however the fuck they want. Okay, this is how I'm doing it because this is how I feel this is going to work best. I have a pretty good sense. Oh, you can smell that garlic with the mushrooms. Fucking amazing. And because it's cast iron, we don't have to worry about any, uh... Ooh, you know what? We're going to rinse out our bowl real quick. Just to make sure we have no water left in here. The dying noise. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <Not> ding noise. <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful cuts of meat. Absolutely lovely. All right, so now we have a completely dried out bowl. We are going to get first off. We're gonna get our fucking pot holder. The last thing we want to do is burn ourselves on this. Now while I'm at the stove, guys, I can't really see chat. So, I'd rather not fuck up the meal to read something, I apologize. Actually, I really don't. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you look, you can see all the moisture in the very bottom of the pan, too. If you really, if you look, you can just see the little droplets as you move that around. You can even hear the squish. You want to get rid of all that. All that excess. So now, while this is working on getting hot, um, no, fuck. Because now, what we need to do after this is we need to let this rest. This needs to rest so that way it's not too hot when it goes in the fridge to set. Um, so while we're letting this rest, we're going to get the potatoes and the broccoli prepped. And then we'll start getting that set aside and put it on a low heat so we can get that started. Um, now what we're going to be doing for the potatoes and the broccoli is we're actually going to be boiling um, the potatoes in here. We have red potatoes. And then we're going to be putting this steamer basket right on top so we can steam our broccoli the same time we're boiling our potatoes just so it's a little more efficient while we're doing it. Now, if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about it, of course. Use different pots, use different pans, do whatever you have to do. I just happen to have that, so it makes it a little easier for me. So now we can hear that this is starting to heat up. You can definitely get a sense that you need to start working around or it's going to start fucking burning. 
So just make sure that you work out all the moisture. Get all the moisture out of the pan. Out of the, get the moisture out of the pan. Okay. Now, I actually think that we'll be okay if we start to get these potatoes prepped. We're actually going to just keep an ear out for that and not even worry. Because there is so much moisture and there's so many mushrooms, it's pretty thick. Is this available via DoorDash? Well, I mean, if you wanted to pay us, you know, a lot of money for this entire meal to be sent to your house, um, yeah. Very much so, if it's in my local area. Very much so. But not DoorDash, it'll be Mad Dash. So, I'll be your Mad Dasher. But it'll take fucking forever. So, I mean, if you want, like, your seven-hour meal, like, here you go. I'll feed you tomorrow. I mean, even if it's not local, we'll do a road trip for enough money. We'll do for enough money. Now, all this is is just the steam cooking off the mushrooms. All that water just disappearing, all the natural juices, everything from it, on top of all that garlic. So, we still got some time, we just want to make sure that it doesn't get overcooked, because you can even see where some of those pieces are starting to cook onto my pan. Just make sure that we don't get too much of that. But that's alright. Let it sit. I don't need to babysit that shit. I'd do it Who would be more affordable? <laughs> yeah. Alright, those are good. Let's go ahead and we'll start chopping up some fucking potatoes. <clears throat> now, for this, I personally enjoy this cutting board. Um, I like wooden cutting boards. You don't have to have a wooden cutting board. You don't have to use a wooden cutting board. You don't have to fucking be involved with a wooden cutting board. If you truly don't want to, use whatever the fuck you like. I enjoy these potatoes. All right, and let's get another one. I might want to. You want to move? It's up to you. Is this working for you with me smoking? This being here? That's fine. Yeah. All right. Oh, we can hear those mushrooms in the background. Very nice. Very nice. Cooking away. Even if the smell gets to me, it's not like it's going to kill me. Well, it has in the past. Like, I get it. You know? Alright. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting some bubbly action over here. This is all just rising to the top. Now, most recipes call for about 20 minutes of cooking this down. So this is going to be doing this for a while. Just because you see liquid rise to the top doesn't mean you're necessarily doing anything wrong or it needs to be attended to. It's just cooking. Nothing to be that worried about. Yet again, the whole point is to get the moisture out of it. So you'll be, you'll be more than fine. No worries. Go ahead. Yeah, you can you'll, see. you'll see those bubbles rising up there. That's that's actually a good sign. It's cooking from the bottom. That water is boiling up. Now, right now, I'm just washing my red potatoes. Um, I just grabbed whatever amount I had, you know. Um, so I figured it'd be enough. I'm pretty good at just eyeballing things. Now, with the amount of potatoes that I have, I'm gonna want to use a couple. Uh, probably, I'm gonna say maybe about three or four eggs. Um, because again, again, we're gonna be mashing in hard-boiled eggs with these potatoes. Just cut the notch off. Now, some people prefer to uh, 
Killed in potatoes? Per potatoes? I don't particularly like that. No, this is actually going to be mashed potatoes, isn't it? It, um, the mashed potatoes are going to have, uh, obviously I'm going to be using red potatoes, and then I will be chopping up bacon, and we'll be mashing in uh, hard-boiled eggs as well. On top of, you know, a little bit of seasoning, kick it up. I always prefer garlic powder when it comes down to mashed potatoes. Two more potatoes to wash up. We're keeping an eye on our mushrooms on the stove. Just, just to make sure they don't burn. We'll hop over there in a second. And as we're doing this, we can keep our other potatoes in the water. So that way, they're just chilling over here. Now, if you wouldn't mind coming on over here, you can see that Mushrooms, when they start to cook down, really do turn into like a mushy thing. So you no longer have like those whole pieces. It really is more or less like almost like a really thick sauce. That's what it starts to cook down to. So yet again, just let that moisture work out of there. And it'll almost start to go back to the same point that it was at at the very beginning. Um, don't forget on top of the mushrooms, we're also dealing with the liquid from the garlic. So this might take a little bit longer to cook down. More than fine. And then after it cooks down, we'll end up chilling it in the fridge with these uh, wonderful little tenderloinings. Which actually, we can... Now, we'll leave those be for right now. Alright, we'll come over here and we will uh, just let that keep doing its thing. I, I'll even turn that up a little bit because I know it's going to take a while. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let me fucking smoke the one we got right here. I still got a little pipe. I think that's some shit. I... Let's go. Where's my lighter at? Huh? Found it. Oh shit, I got two of them back there. Hong Kong. Oh, and you can you can start smelling the mushrooms now. Yeah, you can really get the mushrooms in the air as well. This fucking this is gonna be amazing. First time ever yet again, first I've never made anything like this. So this experience is gonna be great. No, last time I thought you had it aimed up a little bit. I just checked it in Yeah? Alright. All right, let's start working through this. Okay, by working through this, I mean working through this pipe because these won't take very long. And I actually have whole fresh broccoli as well. Um, we also have packaged almonds. We're gonna cook that down in um, some butter. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, I have to see what I have. I don't know if I have um, something sweeter or not. Um, but I was thinking about adding a sweet touch to that broccoli and the almonds. These are keys? Yeah. And they were disappearing under stuff here. Yeah, I threw them over. Huh? My keys end up everything. My everything ends up everywhere. Are you kidding? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Not because I need them closer, but just to clear out the view space a little bit. Right. That's cool. Thank you. All right. Now. We'll get these chopped up. And any way you boil your potatoes is good. You know, usually I cut them a little bit smaller. Um, the reason I'm making this a little thicker is because I'm using the steamer. Um, I want to make sure that I have potatoes that will cook long enough to cook the broccoli as well without overcooking the potatoes. Um, if it boils down to it, I could always just put the broccoli back in after the potatoes. And it boils down. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. So. Oh, 
Perfect. Look at that. Yet again, you could also judge your mushrooms cooking um, just by the smell. So I'm actually, after this potato, I'm gonna go over here, check it real quick, because you can even see, if you come on over, Bungie, now, now we're losing a lot of the wet liquid. So we're getting to the point where it's still gonna be taking liquid out, it's no longer that soupiness, soupiness, yes. Um, so just keep an eye on it. Um, I'm actually gonna reduce the heat a little bit, Right now, we're at seven on my stove. This stove works pretty well. Uh, we're gonna put it down to, well, what, about three and a half, four? We're just gonna let it sit. So, I just wanna eat again. And just to give a little bit of a view of how high the flame is at that setting, which, on yours, you probably want it about there. Now, my cast iron pan is obviously gonna conduct heat and disperse it so much easier than most modern pans. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you have something else, it might cool down a little easier and it might not get the same effect that this pan will. So just judge it based on your own cookware. All right, back over to finishing these potatoes. Exhaust fan on. Gonna go ahead. There we go. Perfect. Nice. I really do. I enjoy cooking. I can sit here and cook all day long. Maybe it has something to do with being fat. I don't know. <laughs> and that's the thing. I, I keep thinking to myself, man, I really like cooking. But it's more I like... Eating. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I like the finished product of, of cooking. Yes. I don't like the process, but I love seeing what I've made. I mean, I kind of enjoy it all. I can't lie. I can't wait. Why would I have to lie? I just said I liked it anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. This, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Absolutely positive. Alright, it looks like we now have all of our wonderful taters chopped up. Alright, so... Now, because I've never used it, yet again, most of the stuff in my house is here. I don't really know... Keep letting that cook down. Yeah, remember that rule about not touching the cast iron pan without pot holders? I break my own rules. Rules are bad to be broken. But disclaimer, that is dangerous. Do not attempt. Yeah, don't do that. If you don't have calloused man hands, it might fuck your day up. Whew. All right. Cause I'll do my job. I'll go be the everyman right now, and I'll just uh, get get here and yeah, that's 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 pretty warm. That's pretty warm. I would have not been able to hold that like he just did. <laughs> this, it happens. I couldn't use my wet hand. Like, I mean, I could fucking pick this bitch up and hold it. Like, oh, you missed it. I just held it for like 10 seconds. Look, no repercussions. No repercussions. Saw a whole bung hotel? Yeah, oh, a whole bung hole. Yep, you saw a whole bungie, bungie hole. I know. That's how that happens. Let's see. Huh? Or was it mine? I mean, if it was mine, no, nah, it can't be mine. My belt's up. My belt's up too. Oh, I got a. I mean, I got a big donkey. That happens. Okay, what were we doing before I got distracted by shrooms? 
Um, that's too much. So now, if you look right here, you can see when you place this in, this is only a steamer pot if you are use, using something like this. So if you're putting that in there and it's filling up, you're no longer steaming shit. You're fucking boiling it. Put it in a pot, you stupid motherfucker. You've done it wrong. So next time, you stupid fuck, if you are doing that, get that out of there. Oh, look, I can take water out. Oh, oh no, look at that. Oh, look, the potatoes can still boil. The water's not in a thing. You fucking did it right. Good for you. I right, so that's how that works. <laughs> boxers work? I mean, dude, I would do this in boxers. Hell yeah. This feels romantic as shit. Alright, Bungie. We are... Just cut the camera back in the thing. <laughs> we are flung now... at the ceiling for a second. <laughs> We're now getting at that point. You see that? We have very little moisture. So now what we're going to do, just to get this done, we're going to fucking crank this bitch all the way back up. Hold that in my wet hands so it hurts more. And now we're going to let that really heat up. Very, very nice. Yeah, buddy. I can still see some bubbles. Oh, yeah. And that's, we want to get as much of this out as possible. Now, of course, you can't fucking get it bone dry without burning it. It's a fact. So, as much as you can. Do as much as you can with it. Yeah, I'm all casual and shit. Like, yeah, we're cooking on the thing. We're dying on the iron. But that's what we do. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I've never heard such a sexy sizzle before. Now, you know what's going to be even better? Is when all of this is placed onto and smeared onto a fine layer of prosciutto with a wonderful beef block. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine that beefy, mustardy, mushroomy, prosciutto-y goodness? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. You can see those air bubbles trying to escape because now it's not liquid rising. It is now just are almost at 420. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're good. I was just reading that. You're good. You don't even follow me. Uh, I don't know why that's the sound that came out of me. Uh, sound like, no, I was going to say, it sounded like the dog, uh, but that's. That's like two tones that I can't make. She wails and cries like a walrus. Yeah, the, the dog at my place. That I want to eat one day. When, uh, she, it will be fucking be Wellington one day. Whenever she has decided it is time for her to go out, um, she doesn't whine. She doesn't bark. Um, what she does is this walrus-like groaning, and it is the funniest thing. It's fucked. It's ridiculous. It's funny when you're not the one she's annoying. Because she will not shut up, and if you tell her to, she'll just get louder. She listens to me. She knows I'm going to fucking eat her. That dog respects the fuck out of me, because she knows that I'm going to take care of her fucking body. God, I got a fucked up thought. Okay. Huh? I got a fucked up thought. Ooh. Let's hear it. Give her bones to another dog. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Everyone's going to hell. So I think what we're going to do, because this seems like it's pretty dried out to me. Um, we're just going to cut that off. I am using. I keep using the word cut because I like it. I like it for the word. Just turn it off because some people are like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go cut it off. Like I learned that out west. So that shit's funny. Otherwise, I'd say turn it off like a real fucking New Yorker. You know what I'm saying? I. So let's move... Huskies are hilarious. Just hit 420. Oh, shit. The weed dance. <laughs> oh. 
oh wow, my neck said clink, clink, clink. <laughs> What the fuck was that? That was cool. And that was awesome. Uh, that felt funky as shit. Alright, we're just gonna leave that there. Yet again, that pan's gonna be hot enough to be able to keep that where it needs to be. <coughs> Our next move is gonna end up being shit. Oh no. What do we do next, Cletus? I don't know. I've never really seen one of these before. Mm. Ooh. Well, if we're doing the potatoes, then there it goes. I can feel when it clicks into the right place. Well, let's see. So, one of our biggest things. Hmm. This is a lot right now. So we're at the point where we need to start combining what we've been working on. So let's, let's move that in there. We are going to take whatever water is on that cutting board, drain it off. So we preserve the few fucking paper towels I have left. You have every towel, remember? Yeah, let's use the sweat one for this. I would, I don't give a fuck. I know you don't give a fuck, and I know your mama don't give a fuck. So I'd be like, ah, fuck it, all right, here we go. It'll cook off. <laughs> it's too much salt content for the prosciutto. I'm trying to dry it off because it got wet. My lighter is gross. Okay, so, um, fuck. I need to chop broccoli. Y'all are watching the most fucking unprofessional cook chefer guy in the world. But I'm doing it. Alright, so now we have our wonderful fresh broccoli. Now this looks like it was going to be more than enough when I bought it. I think it really will be because we don't need big portions, we're just going for good. Plus, between that one and that one, I thought it was more than enough. So. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I had to do that. Cool. So now, to chop this shit up, we're going to want one of my big knives again. Are the hard-boiled eggs okay? We haven't done the hard-boiled eggs yet. You actually boil the eggs with the potatoes. Which, thank you, because my dumb ass would have fucking been like, Whoa, oh, oh. I didn't boil them, Cletus. I'm sour. Now, Bungie can attest to these eggs. I actually made them fucking... God damn, it literally, it was forever ago. It would have been eight, nine years ago. Eight, nine years ago, I made these eggs. I've never made them again since, but it's the best fucking thing I've ever made. I do, homie. Yo, you want to see the position? First, you just fucking get it up like that. And then, you kind of got to lift up and squat in the air. But... You know. Huh? What? He asked if I lay them myself. Luke was asking questions. I'm just answering. All right. How high am I? I mean, I've been smoking. <laughs> if that's what the question is. You know, the correct response to that is, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm high, how are you? Oh, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, 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 I fucked up. You're right. <laughs> oh, fuck. You fucked up the fuck up. I fucked up the fuck up, which made it look like I was high, so that's funny. If you really want to be quick about it, you can just be like, there you go, there's your broccoli, but I was trying to be nice about it. <sighs> Bro, I'm on... Eating fucking broccoli root. 
Ja. Kan jeg gøre den? When you start doing counter ninja shit, you out here. <laughs> fucking A. That's fucking great. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. So, y'all. We're still just letting our mushroom concoction, um, we're letting it dry out. Trying to do its thing. And again, we still got this skillet hot, so we're just going to let this chill over here for a little bit. This should be more than enough. That was six full portobello mushrooms. <clears throat> Do you not have a trash can? What are you talking about? The trash can's right there, homie. You just don't see it. That's, I know. <laughs> they just see me throwing shit. Yeah, there. There's a garbage can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was funny. <laughs> Alright. So now, we gotta make sure that we cut our broccoli down enough. Um, we're just gonna set this one right off to the side. Now, we wanna make sure, do not use warm water when you're doing this. We wanna steam this. I was like, holy shit, this man truly gives no fucks. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <laughs> Yo, that's some good shit. <laughs> Now, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to put our broccoli in warm water. You want to put it in cold water, and that's called blanching. <laughs> that was awesome to bungee to snack on. I mean, fuck it, it's a good snack. Why not, right? Alright, so now we're going to have this right here. We're going to be chucking in one little piece of broccoli at a time. That's cool. So we're just going to be cutting this down. We're chopping the trees. Oh, it's the bee's knees. When you're chopping the trees. Oh, yeah. Are you shocked in the brock? Oh, hell yeah. Some toxic shock to the overgreen brock. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna chop off some of the stem of that. We don't need all that much. Nice. I think that's about as big of a piece as we'll go on the broccoli. I don't want anything too big. Uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll keep that one. Right. Chuck that in there. That'll be good. Now we'll cut that in half. No ice for shocking? I mean, I could, but this water's really cold. This is really, really cold water that comes out of my, yeah. <laughs> and it's not gonna be in there for very long. I just don't want it to get all gross and weird while I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying? Because hopefully it only needs to sit in there for a little bit. Alright. Cool. Then we're just going to push that down. Nice. That's pretty chill. <laughs> Alright. things came to my head.
There we go. I keep accidentally almost wanting to throw the fucking broccoli in the garbage. <laughs> My hand keeps going that way. Cool. I cut myself. Fuck it. I get distracted so easily. I picked up my phone to bring up chat and I got lost in three different message apps for a minute there. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. Oh, turn off what I. Sorry, I was keeping it cool in here. It's so hot in here that, that it was actually giving me a little bit of a breeze from that cold water. It felt really nice. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what are you doing? I was going to pull up chat, and then I realized my phone battery is not exactly going to last too much longer. I mean, there's phone chargers and outlets. So if you can't figure that one out, I'm sorry. Well, it's just one that's close enough to find me. There's one right under the table. Is it not under there? Yeah, there it is. No. What if? <clears throat> wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Then we wouldn't just... have to wait so long. Mm -hmm. Whoa, oh, hey, oh, hey, whoa, yo. All right, so now that we've cooked that down, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to rinse out the bowl that we have this in earlier. And, uh, say you're good for a minute. Now, for the Wellingtons, you are supposed to chill all of this. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to put this in the bowl. Make sure to lose none of it because, well, I have to make sure to lose none of it because I don't have any more. That's that sound of it dripping out of the stove. What? I have forgotten. Okay. So now we're gonna set these right here. Okay. All that is now set to chill. Alright, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. Is that how much the mushrooms reduced? Yes. Mushrooms reduce greatly. They literally turn into mush. That's why I said we needed as much as we did. Because that should paste out to be just enough for all three of those. I know a thing or two about the cooking variety. <laughs> okay. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna keep smoking this until I catch up because I owe Jugs one, now I owe Luke one. So, we're just going to keep smoking until I catch up at this point. So, that's cool. I'm going to go get a chair real quick, guys. Because we need to let that sit. We got 2.15 right now. So, I'm going to say that's already been there for about a minute or two. Wow, it smells like bread. Bread? It smells fucking very good in my room. It does not smell like anything out here. specifically to me like pizza crust. Yeah, like I said, some sort of doughy good dough. Good, can I have my, my every towel? This can be used for wiping the wheat surface. <laughs> All right. Oh, the water, the, the floor must be wet. Either that or, I don't know. This is kind of neat though. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> this is cool. Look at me! You got a hover chair. I do! I don't even have wheels. 
There's a fucking metal folding chair. Oh look, a bib for my marijuana. Oh, that just brings out the chest in me. All right. I say you can like fuck five if you need to. Like you both. Oh. I had my grinder so fucking packed because I wasn't caring that I couldn't get it open. So right now we have our mushrooms chilling. Ooh, that was fun. Our mushrooms chilling in the fridge along with our wonderful pieces of filet mignon that we are substituting for our full tenderloin. And I just need to finish cutting the broccoli while smoking the broccoli. Uh, and then we'll steam the broccoli. <laughs> so yeah. And I could probably put away this English mustard, but who does that? There, we'll put that away. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get up and do some shit. that over there. Let's get back. Let's cut the broccoli. Get to where we need to be. Cool. Got that. Now we can top this. Get that in there. Tiny broccoli. Boop. Throw that in there. Cut that off. Cut that off. Cut that off. Throw that away. Get that in the garbage. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. We are at 12, 19. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go already. Food. Food. Food, food, food. By the way, guys, I went to the meat while well, me and Bundy both went to the buffet for uh, doing this. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. Sweet. Hell yeah. Right there. Yeah. 
that's right off. Then we're going to go ahead. We're just going to broccoli. No. That's straight right out. Beautiful. Now Now, yet again, if you look right under the broccoli, we have our three eggs and all of our red potatoes cut up, ready to boil, and ready to turn into a wonderful pot of mashed potatoes. All right, so now, uh, let's take a look at the time. Let's make sure we're still on par. We got 12.22. I think we can definitely start this, and uh, yeah. That's the front. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're just going to put that on low for right now because we got a lot to do. All right, let's, uh, let's get those out of there. Let's get, I'll drop them. Uh, let's get our mushrooms out of here. And we're going to get... So that's what all of those mushrooms turned into. All of it. I had two bowls full. Now we have a crescent dough sheet. This is very, very close to what we were able to get under sh such short notice. We didn't know until yesterday that we were gonna be able to do this, so we did everything in a pinch today. Um, I thought that, no, what, what the fuck am I doing? I'm an asshole, I don't need that. Not yet. I don't fucking need that. I need prosciutto. This is one of the finest meats you can buy, and it is very fucking expensive. Yeah, that, that right there is, uh... Ten dollars of meat. Ten dollars in prosciutto. Now you need to have it fully wrapped in prosciutto, mushrooms, fucking everything. So there's a lot that goes into this, guys. Now it's very thin meat, but it has a, it packs a lot of flavor into it. And you do not want to get any salt on that meat because it is such so salty already with being a dried meat that you don't want to add salt, but you definitely want to get some more pepper content. So we're going to be cracking some more pepper over this bitch. All right. Um, I need... Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Did I put it in there? No, I didn't leave it in there. I figured out of it. Where the fuck is that? Uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the plastic wrap. Oh, the plastic wrap I think you put on top of the... Not on top of the... Uh, you put... Did I put it in the fridge? <laughs> Did you put it in the fridge? Oh, I didn't put it in the fridge. Yo. Dumb guys. Put it down here? No. Put it in there? No. Put it over here? No. Oh. I thought I put it up there. If anybody else sees plastic wrap, let me know. Hunt for the plastic wrap. Oh, fuck my life. This is dumb. Alright, hold on. You you wait here. Okay. Wait here. Hello. Here, you're gonna get me for a minute. Technical uh -huh. difficulties. I'm going to also look for the plastic wrap while I'm here. There's not too many places it could have ended up. Uh, I'm fucking dumb. I could fuck up anything, can't I? Alright, you know what? He found it. Ask me how I saw that fucking half inch. <laughs> That's my uh, passive perception. Oh, speaking of <laughs> passive perception. What? Are we getting it? Yeah. Oh, God. No, I can't do that yet. We got to wait for that. Me... Okay. I just thought that would have made a good segue, but no, timing that, was that, poor. Yeah, we got to get this in, in here and get this wrapped, and then we got to... Oh, gotta... What I'll say... I won't reveal anything until it actually appears, but uh, we were walking through ShopRite, getting all of this stuff, and Matt just stops and just looks at something and immediately grabs it off the shelf. And I'm, because it looked identical to everything else around it, but he fucking saw the difference while talking to me and like focused on other shit, <laughs> just stopped and just went, oh shit. And that was... Pepsi Blue. They have returned with Pepsi Blue. 
It is back, motherfuckers. We got a six pack of this shit. You want one? Yeah. yeah I mean, you gotta have Pepsi Blue. It's fucking Pepsi Blue. They said it'd never be back. They fucking lied. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was on shelves for 2002 to 2004. And it hasn't been on shelves since. So almost 20 years. Oh, I remember years. this. I re I've had this. I had this when it first came up. Oh, it's back, motherfucker. Yeah, what's up? I'm dropping some real fucking bombs in this bitch. Pepsi Blue. Hashtag not a sponsor. Nope. Anyway. Okay. We are... I want to smell it. It smells like ham. But really good ham. Fuck. This is, this is like working with um, fucking gold leaf. Right. Like it's so light and fragile, but you don't want to fuck up with it. All right. So this is the real challenge. And this is layering this fucking prosciutto to make sure that we have enough to fully encapsulate. We don't want to overlap it too much, just enough. I figured it would take about three pieces a piece. Um, I have enough to do four, so I think that's what we're going to do just to be safe. Um, that'll give us the extra buffer room for the mushrooms as well. So. Yo, can I just say, I'm glad as fuck that somebody else knew about Pepsi Blue and was like, oh shit. Like, Jugs, thank you for that, homie. Like, that made me feel fucking like, oh shit, I just delivered some real fucking news. Because I thought it was real news. I was pretty fucking... I hadn't heard of it until today, so. Alright, so we're gonna move. Got that right there. We're gonna pull this back a little bit. Just make sure we can get this. There, it's a little, little more there, but that's okay. So now, we're gonna take the same spoon that we had, because we can. And this is the hell enough. Fuck. I think that's about third. I gotta use my fingers here, guys. I don't think I cooked that down enough. It still feels wet? It feels very wet. I think we're gonna roll with it. I think right. we're gonna... We don't have time to keep fucking... I mean, we have as much time as we want, but... Can you hear it? But yeah. I think, you know what? I think we'll be I fake it till you make it, right? It just has to be dry enough that it's not leaking into the pastry. And that's what's not going to happen. All right, so now we're going to move our lovely chunk of meat right here. Excuse the poor camera work for a second. I was just putting down and now Pepsi Blue. That's not bacon, homie. That's uh, that's prosciutto. That is absolute prosciutto. So now we're gonna cut. That oh, I fucking hate this. These are cheap as fuck. Scissors. <laughs> we cut that right off. What kind of shoe? <laughs> A pro shoe. For your toe, bro. Also referred to as Parma ham as well. Okay. So we see how that's going to move. So we're going to shift this a little bit over this way. Rinse off my fingers again. And now you can see that we're just going to roll that right over. And now we're going to get this. Just slide right off. Now we just want to keep the firm pressure 
on the back of that while making sure it no longer sticks. So we are fully encapsulating. And now what we're going to do, because we're a little bit in here, we're going to tuck this right in. So that way when we roll it, it completely seals both sides, which is what we're looking for. So we're going to take that just like that. Be very delicate. You want to try not to uh, tear that prosciutto. And now we are rolling. We're going to pull this from underneath the cutting board because that's where we put our excess to make sure we had no slippage. We're going to keep that nice and tight. Tuck it in. Keep it nice and tight. And now, just like that. Get our ends tied. And now we have one fully encapsulated chunk of meat. Now we're going to put that in the fridge so that way, once we're done with this, we can actually, by the time we're done with the other two, we'll be able to pull this one out and start working on this one to get it prepped for the oven. So we're gonna put this in here. This is, um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is a, a combination of just everything I've read. Um, I'm kind of doing this my own way. I, every time I cook, I do stuff. I got a general idea on how to do it. So I, if I had a little bit more, I would have actually cooked mushrooms down more with some uh, cooking wine. And I really would have done it, but you know, you can only do so much. So we're gonna put that right in there, keep it nice and tight, and we're just gonna chill that. So we're gonna put that right on the bottom where it's gonna be coldest. So we use four pieces of that. So we should have enough to be able to do the same with all of them. I made sure to get enough to do so, right? Perfect, absolutely four for each. All right, so let's lay out our next roll of cling wrap, and we will start our next one. I hope everybody's having a good night. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is uh, actually very, very fun and stimulating for me. No! It's savable. You're damn right it's savable. All right. So look. There we go. Made a little jigsaw puzzle out of ham. Okay. We're going to use this as a centerpiece. Because the one piece is going to be more overlapped anyway. But I think it's from it being open for that little bit of time without being used. That just goes to show that you really need to be careful with this. You do not want to mess this up. But yeah, Luke, I really, I looked up multiple different recipes. Um, most, of, most of them pretty much lead to, like, the same exact thing. Um, so, like, adding the garlic to the mushroom, doing, doing the odds and end little nuances, yeah. And I didn't re-season them again because I'm actually going to season the top of it in between the puff pastry um, because there's uh, like a super Alma of Wellington, Maddington, <laughs> super Maddington of Wellington. Okay. Super Maddington of Beefington. Mm -hmm. A beef Maddington. Oh, yeah. I'm mad, Wellington. What? I can keep going. I'm here all week. 
Jesus. I'm sweating so much. I'm like a faucet right now. Yeah, with the broccoli steam and it's also getting very humid in here. Okay. <laughs> Cover your mistakes with more prosciutto. <laughs> more prosciutto. That's pretty much it, too. Very delicate. There we go. Um, got that in there. Yeah, that's a nice big chunk. Now just to get it as smooth as, or as thin as possible, I'm having to do this by hand because it's really not wanting to smear. Um, that's because it's dry. Because you cooked the moisture out of it. Right. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright. So there. Keep all of that in there. And do our next piece of meat. No, I want to get the smaller one. No, we want to get the smaller one because we want to get those nice thick layers. And this one is torn, so I don't want to fuck it up. Can I just say that ever since she said this is not a sponsor, Pepsi Blue has been right there in the camera this whole fucking time. <laughs> uh, Sorry guys, I'm a faucet right now. Here, we'll do what uh, other other things do. There, that's what a movie does whenever a brand ends up on a screen. Just make the brand logo not there. <laughs> That's the thing, though. With sponsors on the internet, you legally have to say. Yeah. That's right. The only, the only medium that exists where you are forced to say if it's a sponsor. Movies don't have to. TV shows don't have to. Nothing else. Okay. It's very weird. A little bit more. All right. There we go. This one's going to be a little tighter to get this. Okay. By the way, this isn't a wireless webcam. <laughs> no, this is a fully <laughs> wired webcam. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Very delicate prosciutto. Um, use with caution. This can be my mom's. <laughs> I swear no matter what angle I try to take with this, there's always some part of you in the way of it. Here we go. Beautiful. Kind of looks like a big old sausage by the time you're done with it. Yeah. If it's nice and tight, you've done it right. All right. <laughs> Got to perform surgery one more time. This one, that's what it feels like. It literally feels like fucking surgery. This is a, this is something. This is definitely something. This is an impressive feat. Anybody that goes to the lengths to make this meal really fucking cares. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Okay. So we got five pieces left. So I think we got to do this a different way this time. I think we do it this way. We'll get more length because that's a bigger piece. <laughs> I 
Very thin slices. Very, very thick. This is fucking Christ. Any other thing I would make isn't this much of a process. If I would have made chicken parm, we would have been moving this whole fucking time. But this is such a delicate dish that, holy fuck. Oh shit, there's more than five or six. Oh fuck. Good thing there's six. That can be our snacking prosciutto. Well, it has to be cooked. No, it doesn't. Nope. Really? Oh. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. All right. So now... I think that's much better. Now we'll get the rest of our mushrooms in place. We're just going to smear it all out. I feel like this is going to be the poster child one. <laughs> it's going to be the one that's supposed to be what it fucking looks like. Yeah, can we get some uh, B-roll recordings of this one? Got it out though. I got it out. We saved it. Still has the full fucking potential. Alright. Here we Oh yeah. This is the poster child fucking Wellington. Me again. We are going to fully tuck in these sides. Nice. There we go. Okay. So, now that so we've gone that far, we are going to up this because we've kept that on very low. Nothing's actually been doing anything yet. Um, it's just been getting warm. So all there is is just those little bit of bubbles from everything starting. Otherwise, nothing's actually truly started yet. So we're going to let that sit for a moment, um, now that we've turned that up. Now we can get started on our first one. Um, now what we need to do is we need to make an egg wash. Are we going to get Mama Bungie's reaction? Well, I mean, you know what? If you want to get her on film at your house, send, me the, send it to me and I'll make it a clip on the channel. Alright? Yeah, it's a tough clip. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Beautiful. 
So now we're going to whip up three eggs with a little bit of milk in our egg wash. Only a little bit of milk. Now typically I do a little bit more, but we really want this to seal. Fuck off. What? That you just do that so casually. Oh. <laughs> I've been cooking for a while, like, I've been doing that for, fuck it, since I was like 12. <laughs> but Mama Bungie's not here, sorry. Yeah. We are at my house doing this, and Mama Bungie's home having a good time. So now we are going to struggle a little bit with the egg wash because I do not have a way to just paste it on there. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing, I just got called an asshole because Bungie was just watching how fast I cracked the eggs. And I guess that's offensive in some cultures. <laughs> Just a splash of milk. Nothing crazy. This is amazing. Me specifically, of the cotton candy Hubba Bubba Max. You know the the squares that have oh, yeah. the blue on the outside and the pink in the middle. Is Pepsi Blue not like one of the best sodas you've ever had? It reminds me specifically. Is that good or bad? Yes, it's good. So is it one of the best sodas you've ever had? No. Now I fucking hate you. Get out of my house. Right. Yeah, I gotta say, this is one of the times you can actually say, yeah, okay. Just drive off into the sunset. Yeah. Well, Bungie's gone, everybody. Nah, I fucking bought these beef Wellingtons. I'm sticking around <laughs> I bought these motherfuckers. I'm gonna stay! Okay. I want to see if I have a lid for this. Well, I mean, it's not a direct lid, but it is a type of lid. So that's cool. Alright guys, what about halfway point with all this? Uh, we're going to smoke some fucking weed. Because those Wellingtons can chill for a minute. Shit, Carnage with the fucking sub. Carnage, a fucking gentleman and a scholar. Four months. Dude, I fucking love you, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, dog. Alright. So, now this is very important. Very, very important. So, first off, we're gonna pop one of our uh, our rolls of dough stuff here, and we just want to make sure not to tear this at all. Now, I don't know if I should put this. Do you think I need flour for this? I think this will be good. I think this is gonna be exactly what I need, the way I need it. We're going to be out. I think you should at least flour the surface. Well, that's what I thought. So that it doesn't stick and makes it just a little bit easier. Just, just a little bit of flour on your hands on the surface. That's it. Oh, shit. Did it stick? Not the back as much. This side, yeah. The outside, I think it's good. I think we'll be all right. I, if I thought it was too sticky, because I messed with real dough. Real dough was fucked. This is peeling up off the wood. So I think, I think we'll be all right. 
We uh, we just need to wrap some fucking Wellingtons, right? And uh, just again to clarify, we are using uh, crescent dough, not puff pastry, used, which is normally used for crescent rolls. The the they are so similar. They are just slightly different in how the in the temperature of the butter when it's layered, but yes. both still provide the same flaky, Yo, buttery flavor. More fucking pipe here. All right, I just need to keep fucking it all up. I'm sweating it out as I'm doing this. While he's smoking, Carnage, you might appreciate Pepsi Blue is back. This meant for it to just make sure it sticks together. What? The no, never mind. Never mind. We're good. We out here. We be an I. Don't worry. We got this. You confused me. No circulation in this house. There's no fucking windows in this house. I live in the basement of this house. I have three windows in this house. It's not a house. So dabs are like a concentrated fucking THC, like liquid. That, those are the ones where you need to blow torch pieces, get them hot enough to fucking, yeah. All right. So here we go. We are going to wrap our first piece of meat. Who? Oh. You? Oh, okay. All right, guys. We're talking about dabs, so I just have to dab. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So this is our first prosciutto-filled piece of fucking loveliness. So now we're going to go ahead and I think we put it right there. We should be able to roll it that way. What do you think? We go over with it? No. You want the seed to be on the bottom. So we're going to go like this. Just like that. And so, we are going to Egg wash on both sides? Yeah. Okay. So, we are getting our egg wash across. I don't have a brush, otherwise you would easily use a basting brush. Um, I don't have that available to me so I'm lightly just using a fork make sure not to go through your dough that would be the worst fucking thing in the world but we have our lovely little pieces of meat that have been loved in a cast iron pan wrapped up in some beautiful meat Good old prosciutto. And now it's gonna be tucked right up inside of this lovely little bun of joy. And now, because I'm a fucking asshole and I didn't put this on plastic wrap.
<laughs> yeah, we did some classic rap and fuck this up. I really fuck this up. That can be my boss. <laughs> well, that's what we already agreed. They're all gonna get fucked up in some way or another, and they all just end up being my mom's because of it. Okay. Well, watch this. We're actually gonna fix this shit real easy. So now we don't we don't need all that excess dough for this one. So, last paper towel, guys. You're going to. Egg wash down. Egg wash down. That's making a fun sound. <laughs> that is. It's making a very fun sound. Well, we spilled some egg wash. Well, no use crying over that. That happens. So now, we are going to... No, we're not. Okay. Get fuck. Now we're gonna let this sit one more time because that's what I'm fucking doing. Whether you're supposed to do it or not, I don't remember. So that's cool. Um, we're definitely fucking winging it here. I don't really remember what the real instructions are or what's supposed to happen. All I know is I've made a mess. Here, you want that? That's fancy ham. Let's split it. Oh, yeah. I almost touched it with sponge hand. It's yours now. <laughs> Alright, cool. Someone just did a thing. I heard that, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Night, <laughs> night Sky Jira, thank you for that follow. That's funny, yeah, I can hear it from in there. Oh. Alright. Well, that's the extra. We don't need that shit. Alright. Yep, egg wash down. Hello. How are you? Oh. How are you doing? Oh, fuck me. Was it good? Well, I can save half of it. Oh. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? We are, for the first time ever, cooking beef wellington. This is my first. Oh, look, now I gotta fucking make new more egg wash. God damn it. I fucking suck at this. It's because. Good. I'm glad. Glad to hear. Damn, making messes, making messes. Doing shit right. Doing shit right. Oh yeah, no, I'm having a lot of fun. Nah, this don't bother me in the least. If I didn't have more to do it, yeah, I'd be a little pissed, but I do, so it's all good. I fucking love cooking, man. Not in my house. Doop, 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 doop. Oh yeah. Make a beef Wellington. Then I'm mess from the Wellington. Cause I'm a fucking idiot. Hiya. I'm a fucking idiot. By the way, I don't know if I did or not, but just from the risk of it, I think I dripped. Bruh. Oh, Luke, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love you, buddy. You do too, only. 
you were saying? I don't know. Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, well, so what I'm using is it's actually a Pillsbury Crescent Roll dough because I didn't have puff pastry. So that's kind of what we're rolling with right now. I did all this on such short notice that uh, I kind of could get what I could get. So I'm not even using a full tenderloin. I'm using filet mignon tenderloins. So it's actually a lot smaller as well. Oh, it'll all work. Don't worry. In the end, it all works out, man. Don't worry about a thing. It's all going to be all right. Oh, yeah. I like that. I don't know. I don't know if it worked out at all. Mm, I ever tell. Love it. Oh, get pepper in the eyes. That's from the beginning. Oh. <laughs> I almost fell, don't worry. Prosciutto. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. That's good. Some good ham. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, now we're ready to start trying to do our second one. You got the oh, no, I didn't. Box. Okay, so. This time, we have our plastic wrap ready. Okay, so, um, I don't really think I need that egg wash. I think they're just complicated shit. Because then it made it really slippery. This isn't like homemade dough, so it's not actual puff pastry. It's already like buttery and eggy and fucking sticky. Well, no, but the, the egg wash uh, is what makes the nice crust. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. Oh, all right. So, let's go ahead. We'll grab another one of our Arreuse de Cresson, and we will do the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this time. So let's get another bowl out. Let's show off my fucking mad egg cracking skills and make Bungie jealous again because that was funny. Oh that one fucked up. That was my fault. That was an egg default. <laughs> you don't even see it happen. You're like, there you go. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead. Oh shit. Oh no. Alright, let's put it. Ah, remember the cling wrap this time. What? Remember the cling wrap this time. Oh, we're gonna do flour too. We're doing it completely right this time. I don't have all my eggs in my basket! You have one job to keep an egg in the bowl. Nice. Well, now I know if I ever want to make some meringue and uh, my uh, hand mixer isn't working at home, I can just give you a call. You know, you like that, right? <laughs> That's pretty legit looking. Madhouse is beating, <laughs> beating off. Oh, I like that. Luke, you're fucking great. I love you, Luke. Thank you. I appreciate having you in my kitchen right now. You are funny as shit. All right, guys. So now we're going to do what we should have done a long time ago. We're going to take this fucking flour and we're going to flour the fucking foil. Where's... 
There we go. Just enough. Just enough. Get some on my fingers. Just enough. Okay. Oh, shivels. Sweet. All right. We got our plastic wrap all established and whatnot. Now all we need to do is place our fucking meat right on the metal. And now we need to go ahead and do a leg wash. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to do. Yes. Right there. Look, yet again, I still think this is the poster child one. This so far is the one to not be fucked up. We're not adding milk to these eggs this time. I don't think we need it. Okay. Okay, let's get this far out of my fucking reach so I can't spill it all over the kitchen again. fucking excess. We're gonna go ahead. Is still my fucking the one I'm relying on, guys. All right. While we're working on this last one, our broccoli is steaming nice. Our potatoes are starting to boil. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400 while we're working on this last one. Okay. So now all we need to do. Oh yeah. This is working. two different towels, one for drying my hands and clean stuff and the other for doing shit like that. Holy shit. 
This has been one hell of a cooking journey. All right. this I will totally do that and I will fucking keep smoking let me get this on here first let me get this one down okay <sighs> this is this is intense this is the last bit of surgery you gotta do Right? And then uh, before they all go in the oven, I want to make sure they're all evenly spaced. And we have to egg wash the outside of each of them. Oh! Ah. You saw that! I st <laughs> oh, shit. I stabbed the fuck out of it. The fork went straight in, motherfucker. It's gonna leak its mushroom guts. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is nice. Can we get an overhead of this last one? I'm on this side of it now, so... So this is what I've been making surgery of this whole time. So we're just gonna wrap that over like that real quick. And uh, I think this one's gonna turn out a little better than the other ones. Um, we're gonna trim this one before anything. Okay. Motherfucker, all tucked and pretty. I think we snip it right there. It'll be and a beautiful little bun position. And get this excess dough out of the way. just go on to reposition this real quick get this right on top so we're just going to keep that nice tight seal on the sides and on that bottom piece oh yeah nice No, you don't. Of course, the cling film's gotta be a. You fucking asshole! Dick! <laughs> it just won't let you. I am all that is man! It'll see. It'll be on the bottom. Okay. Head <laughs> All right. So those are all sitting in there for now. Let's get that picked up. Let's get this thrown away. Let's get that thrown away. Let's get all the garbage in the car. There you go. You're going to bring your garbage with you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Technically, your garbage. These are all things you purchased. Um, I purchased the goods. You made the garbage. Uh -oh. You know what? Here we go. I need some fucking smoky, smoky. We need to check on our fucking broccoli and taters. Yeah. And then this one. And then this one on the face. Okay. Whew. 
All right. Okay, broccoli. As far as I'm concerned, our broccoli is done. Our potatoes and eggs also might be done. We're just, oh shit. Ah, this burns. <laughs> Good thing your back is censoring it. There we go. Now this is gonna become our almond, um, our almond broccoli. Our almond garlic broccoli. Um, so that's actually going to have to come out of that pot, but I, it was already done. I don't want it to be overdone because it's also going to be cooked one more time. Um, our potatoes are also done. Okay, this is being timed terribly. Everything else is going to be done before the fucking meat. Okay, that's okay. I didn't know how long this was going to take. So We also have all the stuff to make homemade beef gravy. Um, I have a half a pound of roast beef that will be boiled and turned into a homemade beef gravy to go with everything. It's going to be fucking beautiful. Wait, what about almonds? It's going to be a garlic almond broccoli. Did I turn that off? Okay. Yeah, for a moment we are on cleanup. I need to make some uh, make some room here. Oh yeah, of course. Like I said, any questions, please feel free. Okay. Broccoli, that and that can get set right over here for now. <clears throat> this will be a hell of a cleanup later, but to save time now, be careful if you're walking around. This is extremely slippery now. Pot. We can get this over here. Get that. Actually, where was it? So there. Ooh. And I wash the back of it. Let's sit and smoke for a second. Everything is now off the heat. You like watching me scramble around the kitchen, don't you? <laughs> I like watching anyone scramble around the kitchen. I'm good at it. Now I'm also slippery. That seems like a good job for any towel. No. Well, no, it's just moisture in general. It's all water. Oh. That looks cool mixing up the steam. 
right? Okay. <coughs> I'm going to be so proud of that broccoli, by the way. Because it's going to be pretty much a uh, garlic almond butter going on top of it. That'll all be mixed in. So the garlic and the almond are going to be toasted in butter. It's going to be really good. See, you say garlic almond butter, and I think of, like, almond. The almond version of peanut butter with garlic in it. Okay. All right. So, guys, we're at the point where we're about to put these Wellingtons in the oven. Um, let's let's get that done, and then we can take our time and smoke and get everything else done. Because these, I, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, I think these are going to take about 45 minutes in the oven at least. They're still going to take a while. Um, even though they're small, it still turned out to be big. <laughs> um, so where you got to say a little prior too. You can't, you can't see how well they're cooking besides just off the pastry. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm going to wait exactly 45 minutes, and then I'm going to pull them. I'm not opening the oven until then. So if they're overcooked, it's overcooked. But I think that's I think that's a good way to do it because I don't want to reduce heat. I don't want, I don't want any fluctuation. Fluctuation. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's get a camera. We have our three Wellingtons ready to be put in the oven. Hmm. Of course, you do take the cling wrap off because that would just melt. All right. We want to keep these as evenly spaced as possible. And I'm actually thinking that one might go in the middle because it seems like the smallest. Uh, that's about middle. Don't want to move that again. That was very unsteady. We're still banking on Big Boy being the best, right? That was the one that was looking bad so far. Alright. We're unwrapping this one. Oh, that's thin. Oof. Let's. We're gonna. That's the thing. They're different sizes. They're gonna cook differently. They're all gonna cook differently during this. So hopefully, hopefully we're good. Very, very gentle, not to break that. Do not want to go over top of that, or through it, I should say. And uh, the, the egg wash gives it that, that nice browning you see on top of like a, a really good bun. That's what does it right there. We're also going to have eggs on our <laughs> fucking baking sheet. So All you cool. have to do is keep the <laughs> eggs in Well, we're going to have a nice brown baking sheet. It's going to look like a bun. We're going to want to eat the baking sheet. Is ultimately what I'm saying. This is going to stick because there's so much flour on the outside. It's an asshole. But god damn, do those look fucking nice on the end on that one. That one looks very well tucked on both sides. Don't dump the rest of the eggs on this one, please. No. Uh, there we go. All right, excuse me. Let me get on this side.
It's working. What I think it might be worth doing is actually getting some toilet paper and soaking up the egg on the tray because that's a lot of moisture to add to the mix now. Mm, that's fair. That's true. Um, let me look for, for some. I think I have a little. Uh, I got He does not have access to a facing brush. So, yeah, uh, I don't have one. And, uh, yeah, he accidentally poured some egg on, uh, one excessively, but, uh, that's gonna get fixed. We're gonna, uh, We're gonna turn the camera away while we don't watch this, so now this is really done. do 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 hello. We're gonna look at me on the fridge here. Um, yeah, we're, we're just, uh, clean, cleaning up some of that, that, uh, excess egg. This Oh god, we're probably very close to my face right now. Hello. Do 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 do. Just uh. Hold on. <laughs> clearing. No. What? What's up, Untamed Ghoul? Where's the brush? I don't have a brush, man. I'm sorry. I've never made a well engine, and I don't have tools. I'm a mechanic, not a chef. But I like to cook. <laughs> Yeah, little. Well. Okay. I'm just gonna put that back there so nobody can ever see it. And uh, yeah, okay. look, look, look. Oh, now it's all right. It's so perfect. There's all that. Yeah. Kind of perfect. All right. So now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of this garlic pepper. Because a lot of that is salt content as well. And we're just doing a little bit just to get it to really crisp up and crust up on top of that egg. You, oh. I'm looking at you like, huh, really? But then, so. Okay, so here they go. Well, there goes the little love biscuits. And now we say a prayer. Whew. All right, so now. We get down to some other shit. We have a couple things to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the broccoli and we're going to set this inside. Um, we're going to bring. Oh, it's fucking hot. Whew. Okay, this is more than just beef Wellington. I am also making mashed potatoes, loaded mashed potatoes, my version. And we're also doing garlic almond broccoli. So, with doing so, whew, all right, we'll grab this bowl, put that there. Oh yeah, nice, nice. What? The button would slip and slide on the floor. Oh. Alright, so right now we're working on peeling our eggs. These these hard boiled eggs are gonna go into the mashed potatoes. Some people I, if you've never had it, um it's actually really good. I am putting hard boiled eggs and look at that. Perfectly hard boiled, right along with those. That's just nice and yellow. And uh, we're also going to be putting fried bacon in there, bacon chunks. So I also have yet, I have to fry up the bacon. Because you know everything needs bacon. Is that kind of surprise to people? It did technically. Yeah, in the loosest sense. It got fancy ass bacon. It got similarly cut meat from the same animal. 
Wow, these could not have been any better. These are like the best hard boiled eggs I've ever fucking seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the shells slide right off. And like, yet again, they're all just perfectly cooked. No, no difference in color, no, oh yeah, amazing. All right, so I'll dry my hand off on that. It's fucking dying in here. It is very warm in here at this point. Very. All right, so we need, so Luke, can we get a camera angle on this, please? So, Luke, this is literally being mashed up with our potatoes. So this whole thing... Except is, for that one egg that's sitting on top of the masher. All going to be thoroughly mashed together. You can definitely smell the egg. Oh, yeah. So while this is hot, we want to add some butter. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave that where it is. We don't want to fuck with that too much. We need to fry this bacon. The bacon is a very crucial part of this. Yeah, add butter in your potatoes. Hell yeah. Even sometimes a little bit of milk to make it a little creamier. Oh, I, we get milk up in that bitch. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get a bacon. <sighs> mm. Should I just use all of it? No, we don't need all that. No. It's thick cut too, so. Always gotta be doing shit the hard way. Yep. Always. Like, who the fuck holds and cuts bacon like that? Only I you. Bet, I bet that's what everybody's asking. Like, who the fuck does that? Like, what? Mm, the sounds of scrape pan. Got another bowl. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. I gotta I gotta really start catching up here. I'm fucking so far behind. Oh god, everything's happening so fast. <laughs> we're gonna actually turn this down a little bit because I think this oven runs high. So we're gonna put that at 350. You got that 325 right now. Huh? No, I, for this oven it's about 350, trust me. Alright. Yeah, we got our bacon and our skillet. We're gonna go ahead and oh fuck. Woo! Miss with the fucking pipe. Alright. Let's go. Another pipe. Alright, excuse me. I need the kitchen for a moment. <sighs> that's that's all I <laughs> Three hours? Holy fuck over. It's one hell of a meal, I guess. Nang, 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 nang. Are you just eating your ear? What the fuck was <laughs> that? I, my brain just had the sudden urge just chew the wire. I didn't actually chew the wire, but. Oh, here's the every tell. <laughs> mm. 
I'm getting so defeated right now. This is kicking my ass. All right. Whew. We're getting there. I don't expect a cooking stream. Damn. Oh, what up? Hi. Hi. What up? Got so caught up on catching up with those bowls, forgot to put the heat on the bacon. I didn't forget. Oh. I didn't want it to burn. <laughs> All right. We don't need that. We don't need the egg wash. You saw that. Yeah. Well, that happened. Honey, how are you? It's nice to see you. Oh, yeah, no more except for him. Okay. Soon we're going to want to get a shot on the bacon. That's something. That's some fancy frying bacon right there. Oh, oh yeah. Woo! That's what's up. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I know what it is. Oh yeah, you can hear that bacon right now. Pepsi Blue. <laughs> got some bacon frying in a skillet right now. So we are currently working on our beef wellington with loaded mashed potatoes, but my way of loading, we're gonna do hard boiled eggs, red potatoes, uh, fried up bacon, and uh, maybe we'll throw some cheese up in this bag. Fucking little cast iron pan right now. <laughs> Y'all, and yeah, we're having fucking uh, almond, garlic, broccoli. Oh, yeah. Y'all, hold up. Yes. All right. Got more, more pipe in the pack. I told you that was just a container when I kicked it at you. You expect me to remember things? That's all I got. Ah, this little turkey and cheese sandwich from work. That's what's up. Fuck it. Oh, I wanted to do Let's get some frying bacon shots right now. Okay. This some beautiful ass shit right there. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like some frying bacon? That's beautiful. Getting in the danger zone for you guys. Oh yeah. That's some beautiful ass bacon. Hang on, let's have a, a quick moment of silence. Yeah. Hope, hope you got some good sizzle ASMR there. <laughs> Yo, this is the sexiest fucking food thing there is on Twitch right now. <laughs> I swear to God. 
Uh, God, I fucking I love bacon. Yeah, buddy. Huh, you know what it is. Now, the thing I'm really going to be proud of is this broccoli. Because I've never made broccoli like this before. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. I like watching bacon fry, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Yeah, just so you know, our stream is delayed enough that we're just seeing our own bacon fry right now. Yeah. Can I just say that I'm proud to call this my stream? Like, I got fucking bacon on Twitch right now. Like, this should be, like, hashtag bacon. Why is everybody not here watching bacon fry? Like, even if you don't care about beef wellington, like, just hashtag I love bacon. Who wants to watch bacon cook for, like, fucking 20 minutes? You know, that could probably be one of those, like, mean Twitch channels that gets super huge. Just a 24 I can't second. cook. I'm a two-day anime. <laughs> two-day anime boy on the internet. Now, fucking honey, thank you. I appreciate that. Yo. What was that? What happened? Who did a thing? We'll see eventually. Nah. It would have popped up immediately. Well, in there, yes. Oh, ah. shit. All right. Yo, Carnage, thank you for the fucking host, bro. I can't fucking... I'm not in front of my computer. Oh, I regret... <laughs> Look at how you nah, it wasn't a raid, honey. Carnage toast to me. Carnage, thank you, bro. You're fucking awesome. Yeah, that, that, yo, let's get some fucking frying bacon for Carnage over here. Okay. Carnage wants to watch some other fucking bacon fry. That's what he wants. Look, this is what we're doing for the next fucking until the bacon is done. This is what Twitch is all about. Frying fucking bacon. There you go. I'll leave you to that. I got some fucking pipes to catch up on. I don't like you doing that. Oh yeah. Wait, isn't the whole point of the channel point reward that people see you smoke it? That's alright. Right now, bacon's more important. We can get a shot of me in the bacon. The bacon will still look good. It'll look better because I'm there. Like, I hate seals. No, you can back up. Right? Now you get bacon. And now you're good right there. What's up, What's that? Bacon. House. Bacon house weed smoke. THC infused bacon. You're good. Sorry. Just something popped in me. A uh, pop? Yeah. I don't know what it did, but it do. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Now we're trying to get nice crispy bacon. So we're really gonna let this go for a bit. Fuck, how long have the Wellington been together? They haven't done that? I didn't even pay attention. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for exactly 45 minutes. Fuck this. I'm gonna fuck McDonald's. Lunch break. Fuck yeah. Honey, you do you, homie. You do what you gotta do, right? Huh? Actually, you want to go check? Yeah. I was going to say, 
Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Huh? I was saying sorry to everyone because oh. I was shaking the camera a whole bunch. Uh, bacon is still frying, guys. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take some good old fucking country crock, and that's going to go inside these potatoes right now. Now, I'm somebody, I love buttery potatoes, so it is what it is. You can add or don't add or do whatever the fuck you like with y'all shit. But this, this is how I like it. So we're going to take a dollop like that, right, and put that in there. We're going to take one more smaller one, and I think... That'll be good for the amount of potatoes I made. I didn't make all too many, so that'll be a good amount. Hell yeah. And then we'll drop that nice, beautiful bacon right on top. Oh, yeah. You need this. At 2 hours 55 minutes on the screen, they went in. 2 hours 55? Yeah. Okay, so we're at 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. That's a permanent timer because we can't lose that one. Yep. There we go. Turn the bacon. You know, like I said, we're going to put that right over top of our butter. Can we get an overhead on that? Alright, so now... We have our bacon, our butter, and our potatoes set. Now they mix the shit out of it. It smells like breakfast. <laughs> Good. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of milk. Oh shit, okay, cool. We're also going to go ahead and just personally, I really like to add garlic powder, a little bit of garlic, and parsley. Looks nice in everything, doesn't have much of a flavor. It just looks good, because you can see those little green flakes, and it's like, oh, look, I'm eating something healthy, even though it has bacon in it. <laughs> so then, get potatoes. To be fair, this is 90% vegetable. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we can... That don't need that now. Excuse me. I think we got us some good fucking potatoes. Would you like to try those, Bumpy? I would like to try those. There you go. Oh, okay. How? There you go. Mm. Oh, nice bacon and some egg. Got the garlic powder. I like them. Better than the ones you had way before, huh? I don't remember. I don't remember because it was forever ago. But there you go. Now I'm curious. I don't fucking... Why do I am not using these? By the way, I only did that because this is what I do at work. Oh, that'll be great when I make the gravy. Because they don't need to be overly moist. We want these to be thick because we're also going to make a from scratch homemade gravy. I have a half a pound of roast beef that we're going to boil and we're going to turn that into a nice thing of gravy. Homemade au jus turned fucking baller. So, good, huh? It's like you just keep getting it. Yeah, it, it stays in the good way. All right. So now what we're going to do for the sake of these potatoes because first off, we're just gonna 
smooth them out in the bottom of the pan to make sure. Now, if you really wanted to do something extra special with these, if you ended up having any of these left over, one of the most amazing things to do is the next day, if you were to go ahead, just fucking put some cheese in there, do something like that, throw them bitches in the oven, and you could have a whole new dish. You could have yourself a twice baked potato fucking casserole. All you do is add a little bit of meat, whatever it is, and it's fucking amazing, I promise you. So we're just gonna set that on the stove because the stove's still nice and hot. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, potatoes are done. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get started on our uh, broccoli. I need to smoke some fucking weed. Everybody's been wanting me to smoke some weed. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is, I've been moving nonstop for three hours now, just fucking cooking. It's awesome, I'm loving this. For everybody and anybody who is here, I fucking appreciate you being here and I hope you're having a wonderful time as well because this is just fucking balls to the wall. This is the type of cooking I work well at. I've never made this. I've never done any of this but the potatoes fucking like eight years ago. And yeah. <sighs> okay, so next, what we need to do is we need to, we actually need to come back over the stove. We are going to, I need to get in the fridge, please. Um, <sighs> dying, sorry, it's so fucking hot in here. You know, oh, fuck. Yeah, no. Right. Um, here are slivered almonds. So there's our almonds for our broccoli. Um, now this was the part I still wanted to play with a little bit. I wasn't entirely sure on how I wanted to do this. I have no recipe for this at all. Um, this is something I completely decided that I was just going to do because that's what I fucking do. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of butter. Good old country crock. So I'm going to take... Hmm, we'll take about that much. All we're looking to do is brown our garlic and our almonds for right now. So we're going to put that in there for right now. Um, we'll use that spoon for mixing it around because why the fuck not? Um, I was hoping to make something on the sweeter side, but you know what? I think we're just going to keep it as a side and not go too crazy with it. All right. So now we have this and this. We have our garlic right over here. We are going to go ahead we are going to turn this front burner on and start to get our, our, our butter melted for this concoction of ours. So I'm going to take, now I'm using a slotted spoon for this. We're going to take about, ah, I don't want that much. Let's go for, for the amount of broccoli we have. We're gonna go with about that much, just enough for the flavor of the garlic. We don't want to overpower the almonds because the almond is a very subtle flavor, and if we overpower it, it kind of defeats the fucking purpose. So we're gonna just go ahead, get that skivvied around, and we're pretty much just gonna throw in about a handful of fucking almonds. Enough to make sure you're getting them with the broccoli. Compared to what we have, I feel like that's a good amount of almonds. Now, yet again, everything was fresh. Um, earlier, we cut up our full broccoli right here. It's just steamed. Um, it's good to be buttered. Thank you if you taste that. That's really fresh broccoli. Absolutely awesome. Mm. Yeah, very well steamed. Like I said, it cooked very well alongside the potatoes. Um, so now here's where we're going to be toasting our almond with this garlic. Now they shouldn't stick for any reason. So if we just shimmy them around like that, we should be good off. Or good off. <laughs> we should be good off. <sighs> Excuse me. May I get to my rag, please?
We're just going to let that sit and brown for a moment. And it's got to get to a decent, decent temperature to start browning. We have a little bit of a lump of butter in there. There you go. There we go. And now, that's a very unfamiliar smell if you take a whiff of that. It's very, very different. Right? To describe it, it does smell very nutty. It does. Now, as we get this to brown a little bit, we are going to add more butter, and then we're going to throw in the rest of our broccoli. But we definitely want to try to get these to brown up a little bit. Okay. And right now, we are currently at about 30 minutes in on those Wellingtons. Uh, we're going to give them 15 more minutes, which, honestly, is kind of working out. I feel like I may have actually timed this pretty fucking well. Mmm. Well, it did exactly what I wanted. We didn't burn anything. We literally started crisping them up. So that's fucking awesome. Like, that did exactly what I wanted it to. We got it to the perfect temperature. Now, go ahead. Introduce our broccoli. Broccoli, this is almonds, almonds, broccoli. And now they're even going to get a little bit of a smoky taste from that little bit of action you saw going on. Oh, broccoli threw out. Okay. I'm going to turn that down real low. Fucking out of this world. Fucking out of this world. Silent admiration. Don't mind me. Now, the one thing I was gonna do, just to spritz it up just a little bit. We're gonna put a little bit of our cracked seasoning in there. You don't want too much of the salt, but that will give us a little bit of a cracked garlic uh, taste. And then go ahead. Our garlic almond broccoli is done. We are now two pieces done with this. Uh, excuse me. I think we can pull our Wellingtons. Let's pull. Broccoli's still on the heat, by the way. Thank you. So this is what our welding teams look like. Now they look a little puffy on the outside, I'm not going to lie, they're a little dark, but they're not bad. Look at that. The one leaked can't be fully prevented. Two of them completely sealed. That won't be my mom's. That one will be your mom's. But, uh. Oh, yeah, that's the running joke of this week. I think, uh. I, 
I'm going to call those done. I'm going to call those Wellingtons. The only way to find out for sure. I'm going to chop one open. Cut open. open. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, actually, we wouldn't want to cut them open right away. We want to let them sit. And that would honestly let them cook longer. So that's perfect. Because what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and we'll set that. Actually, we'll set them right over here so they're out of the way. So that way they're completely out of the way, can't fuck it up. We'll work on our gravy. We'll get our gravy made. Yeah, that's the last component, isn't it? It is. I, uh, I feel like I may have actually timed this pretty fucking perfectly. I told you that's how it go. <laughs> I feel rushed the whole fucking time. Where we be. And you'll see a final plated result as well. That will be an actual thing. So you will see a full plate of this meal by the time we are done on a silver fucking platter. Fuck with me. <laughs> All right. Now we have our half pound of uh, black bear roast beef. Good stuff. Whew. What a fucking marathon this has been. Yeah. Yo, we're at three and a half hours. Don't do drugs, kids, before you go to hell. Before you die. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that's a, oh. that's a reference to an anti-drug commercial. Um when the Super Mario Brothers movie was a thing. And the guy who played Mario did an advertisement where that was the end of the advertisement. <laughs> Don't do drugs or you go to hell before you die. Talk to your priest, your rabbi, your... Oh, fuck. Talk to your... Talk to your priest, your rabbi. Can I just get... Look, look at this. Look at this meat pile in this fucking pot. Other than slapping meat in this pot this whole time. It's all becoming fucking gravy. Bungie knows it. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna chuck that. We're gonna get... Did you, did you see what Luke wanted? What? A clip of what? Of you saying what he posted. Oh yeah, fuck! If you want a clip... I can't make a clip right now, I'm sorry. No, you don't need to make a clip. Oh. Yeah, fuck yeah, I get a clip. No, he what? He wants you to look into the camera and say that. Oh, you clip. want that shit? Don't do drugs before you go to hell, before you die. Well, you do. Mm -hmm. Good attempt, good attempt. <laughs> Think Italian plumber. Huh? Don't do drugs because you go to hell. Before you die. No, that was what? That was <laughs> Russian. What? No, I didn't. All right, sorry. I'm fucking gravy. Guys, perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. We're getting our garlic. <laughs> the longer this goes, the sloppier my camera work is getting. We're going to throw in all of our parsley right now. And then... We are going to throw this directly on the stove. Oh yeah, we're going to start that off with a low heat. Gotta let it start to boil from the bottom because that meat's gonna start cooking. All those juices are gonna build up. It's gonna be fucking amazing. I'll tell you what. I know you're already, you gotta be happy over it. You were happy before I started it. And now you're like, wow, I think this actually happened. Alright, we need to fucking get that a little hotter, a little quicker. Because this needs to fucking do its thing. Like, right now.
see them there. I need to grab some water. <laughs> All right. Oh, where the fuck did my fork go? Okay. Mmm, that sound. Oh. Nails on a chalkboard. Gotta love it. Alright. I need to get back over here one more time. We're gonna... Amazing! Throw some more of that peppercorn at it. Oh my god. You get that whiff? I'm, it's hard for me to whiff one thing here. Oh, I get that whiff. That's... Whew. We're getting it. Oh man, this has been one hell of a ride. I'm melting. All right, I just need more water. Woo! Hell yeah! one more time. I keep saying one more time too. Alright. Actually, you know what? We could probably put the camera down. If you could actually angle that up towards me in that. Um, you know how to angle that, right? <laughs> Alright, that's all we need in there. No. Other way. Yeah, loose now. Got yeah. it? Don't have the grip. So I lose everything now. That won't let it spin, just go up. Oh yeah. We are currently working on all of this. Luke, I got you, homie. Whew. We out to all day long. All day long. Ooh. No, no, no. Oh, challenge, bitch. I got you. You know what, motherfucker? I got you. There you go. That should be good. There's just a little askew. Now we're going to boil the shit out of this meat, because all it is is for gravy.
wheelchair. Oh, yeah. So fucking far behind on these, it's not even funny. Uh, and nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Ooh. All right. Now. Because we needed the beef as an actual base, um, I still wanted to make sure that we had enough flavor in it. So we're actually going to still add about, I'm going to say, we're going to add, let's say, three bouillon cubes for right now. Just to try to get it a little bit more beef flavor. We're boiling half a pound of fucking roast beef and it still doesn't have enough beef flavor. So, just because... You gotta make it every little bit stretch. beef flavor is now at this point we're pretty much going to continue to boil this until it breaks down and enters the liquid as little pieces of beef because it just now started boiling so now it should really start to break down and start getting us what we're looking for so we'll we'll look back at this in a little while and see how we're doing on the roast beef and that's that's how we're going to do the gravy so we're going to let that sit for right now and we'll we'll come back to it in a little bit is a Wellington? Well, a beef Wellington is a beef tenderloin, which I ended up using beef uh, flaming yon tenderloins. Um, it's seared, wrapped inside of mushroom and prosciutto, and then put inside of dough. What? What? Oh, yeah, and mustard. There's fucking English mustard involved. I was say, don't be afraid to fuck stuff in. You're here. You're part of it. How is he? And mustard. Am I talking with my hands? Yeah. Am I really? Yeah. Oh, I don't even fuck her up. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place. We're having a good time. So it's a very well trained in operatic singing and have a lot of it. 
dreams to be a voice actor one day. One day. Oh, yeah. It is a good thing. It's all about having a good time. This has been great. I need to get this butter away. We're going to get this garlic in the fridge. Right now, we are... Whew, we got all sorts of stuff going on. I'll tell you what. And uh, I actually... I know exactly how I'm topping this off. And I know how it's going to be served. And it's going to be something I do off camera. And then I want the final result to be shown. Nah, fuck it. Y'all can see everything. But y'all are going to be like, whoa. Yeah. It's a good time. Is anyone else chilling here and watching actively? Everybody raise your hands. Everybody who is chilling here and watching actively, raise your hands. I'm raising my hand. So thank you for everybody who just raised your hands. Aha! Luke's lit as fuck, yo. Luke, I'm sweating so much, dude. No matter what I smoke, I'm never gonna get stoned. This is almost done, man. <laughs> Oh my god. This is. Oh my god. Oh yes, I love that. Yo. As to th yeah, here we go. Look, here we go. I woke up my roommate laughing so hard. There you go, Lizzie. Yet again, everybody here and watching, I thank you all. Luke, I fucking love your email. Emoot? Emoot? <laughs> your emote. I fucking love it. Hold on, I got one of them. Can I can I do that? But, ah, we just watched the hands go up. That's funny. <laughs> I can't do it on my laptop. It's garbage. But I appreciate and love every single one of you. Thank you, everybody who's been here this entire time. And oh yeah, the hand of fate. Y'all, that's fucking awesome. Now I know that is Luke. Respect the motherfucking H Browns. Hand of fate. Respect it. Bungie, this is the last taste you're going to get before a final product. But. That is obviously hot, but. It tastes like meat. Oh my god. I'm fucking infatuated. I am beyond the fuddle of it. They, the crawl, they raise their hands. Hello, everyone. So, just like, uh, imbued with the spark of the hour. I am very much so a night dweller. Um, soon I'll be getting the, oh, that is like facing the fridge, dog, what, you, what the fuck? What the fuck are you? <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> you weren't even gonna check. You weren't, uh, you weren't even gonna fucking check. Now it's facing down. Up. Uh, ah! <laughs> I got this. Hold up. I'm sorry, guys. I got, sorry. I got, I got, you sure? Is there. You I right? yeah, yeah, that's that's better. Okay. Now I'm good here. So thank you. Perfectly in frame so far? Feel like right now I'm good. But we're just wrapping up on our beef gravy. This has a half a pound of roast beef that was specifically bought for boiling just to make fucking gravy. And uh, it's gonna just be phenomenal. This whole meal. I am actually, I'm going to do one final presentation plate, and uh, I've decided on how. Well, no. Would anybody like to know how I'm going to present this? I'm going to do it right here, in this fucking skillet. It can't be any better of a presentation. Whew. 
And just a reminder, this is not just beef wellington, this is also loaded mashed potatoes, madhouse style, and almond garlic broccoli. Okay. You just need to reduce this a little bit more. Get a little bit more of that to boil off. It will be perfect to go and thicken it with cornstarch and water. And after that, then I can plate. We can do presentation. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to smoke my fucking mole. Because I can. I don't even give a fuck. It's going to be served right on top of baking grease, too, because it's just that much better. Why the fuck not, right? It's bacon huh? grease. The bacon makes everything better. Bacon makes everything fucking better. Oh yeah, we I made almond garlic broccoli. Yes. I sure fucking did. <clears throat> All from scratch, no recipe. I've never done it before. Hi. Oh yeah. Now, the only thing with the beef wellingtons, I had no idea. So I really had to fucking look at general ideas, but I still made it my own the best I could. I'm just feeding chat. I know. I was, I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah. I woke up the roommate again laughing. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. We're getting there with this fucking... Okay. I, I said broccoli, I mean fucking. That's gravy. Gravy, broccoli, something. <laughs> right. Alright. So, for those of you who have never used cornstarch, Actually, hold on. I already said I'm going to fucking smoke real quick. So we're going to take a second. We're going to smoke some shit. But I like smoking some shit. Whoa, don't fall over some shit. <laughs> don't be tripping, dog. Hi. <laughs> Don't make me laugh so naturally. <laughs> That's funny. So, we are, we're about to thicken our, whatchamacallit? Yeah, that one. <laughs> We're about to thicken our gravy. So this will be a nice little thing to watch. So now we want to make sure that we have enough cornstarch in here. We make sure to always thicken cornstarch in cold water if you're or break it down in cold water if you're gonna do it. You gotta do it. Alright, let's get one more. I think we'll be good, Bundy. One more cameras. I was gonna do the same, but this is needed. Alright. So if you don't stop, if you stop stirring this, the corn starch, starch will literally settle. Um, so the beef didn't quite break down the way I exactly wanted it to, but that's fine. You can see that you've definitely gotten most out of that. Um, let's go. Now let's get that up to a really hard boil. I'm just gonna look. Now you can see that that even looks different now. That is starting to thicken. Now, when you use cornstarch, it is something that happens over the course of it boiling. The hotter it is, just, I, I don't know how cornstarch, I have no fucking idea. 
but it's like the coolest fucking thing. It's like science and shit. <laughs> so like, that's what we totally do here. We totally do science and cooking and shit, because that's what I'm good at. So like, cornstarch and hot boiling water equals thicker water. <laughs> we don't stir the liquid, we stir the beef! <laughs> I thought it was fun. You <laughs> see? <laughs> oh, I sweat my elbow. Okay, we still have a little bit of cornstarch concoction. We want to get this back up to a hard boil. That's why I add it. Which, there we go, we're getting there, that's good. Alright, so now I'm not even going to stir it, we're just going to let it go for a second. Alright, now... I'm going to need to get a little bit more corn starch, excuse me. Just got to make this quick. <laughs> Hungry science! Science you don't understand is still science. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so let's move you back over here. Now you see that's getting a little thicker. We don't want to add too much more. We're not going to use everything I just made, but maybe we will. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful from scratch beef gravy. Fuck it, a little thicker. We like it thick. 15 C's and a Q in there somewhere. Oh god. My eyeballs with sweat. Okay, excuse me. We get over that way. We'll make a little bit more just in case. We'll watch it boil for a second. Again, making sure to add cold water, not hot water. Okay, I want it a little bit thicker. And then we're just gonna let it boil the fuck out. There, more done, we can't add anymore. It won't, it'll just fuck it overflow. We're just gonna put that on a low heat, let it simmer out. And there we go. There's our gravy. That is the last look before the final plating. Uh, if you want to set the camera right uh, in its position, um, I will be working on this. What up, Highland? Yeah, it's done, bro. That's our gravy, homie. Yeah, it's not a very big pot. It's not a very, very big pot at all. Excuse me, camera. There it goes. I can feel when it clicks in. Okay. Now, excuse me, guys. I'll be right back. So we can do the problem next. We can get that done. So before you even adjust that, if you wanted to, to get this. All right, guys. This is this is the moment. It's happening. This is what happens. This is we're cutting the Wellington right now. Cutting the one that leaked. Yes, we are going to cut the one that is least perfect. So here are our Wellingtons. Yet again, never before attempted, never before made. Oh, that's more precarious than I'd like it to be. 
Oh, what is? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. Gravy's going off. All right, guys. Let's see how all this hard work, this tree goes. If I have a fucking three of that knife out of any of these knives, whatever. Moment of truth. It's a little well done, but that's still even a little pink. I don't think that's overdone. That's exactly how I wanted mine to look, so. Do you want that one? No, leave. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, that's... There you go. So do you want me to, which one would you like? I will plate and make yours right now. You can take whatever home with you. Because right now it's going to be your plate. It's not going to be a huge portion, but it's going to be a plate. I mean, I'm going to say the big one. What do you mean? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't give a shit at all. I want the big one. Like I said, I don't even, I didn't really make this to, to eat it. But the, don't, don't forget, the big one's not going to quite look like that. I know. So it's probably it's gonna, gonna be, be a little, little bit, less. little yeah. bit pinker. Oh, I'm aware. Oh yeah. I mean, I, that is just gliding straight through that meat right now. This is probably exactly how I want it to look. The fucking most perfect. Thing ever. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That is fucking beautiful guys. Okay, so this is that's amazing. Look at that all that juice just coming out. Excellent. Alright, so I will be plating this. If you want to just put that down or do whatever you want with it. Yeah, I will. Jeebies. I don't like them. That's what they do. Now, because this is a skillet, we can utilize the skillet. So this is.
Hell yeah, R2. Fuck yeah. Alright, Bungie. There's your fucking... There you go. You can get that right on camera. Just like that. There's your plate. This is the final product of what we got. This is a beef wellington with almond garlic broccoli, mashed potatoes with fried bacon, hard boiled eggs, the works, with a homemade beef gravy that was used literally a half a pound of fucking roast beef just to make it. All made from scratch. Absolutely amazing. There you go. Fucking A. Now, do you want to, would you like to uh, take a taste? Yes. Right? <laughs> All right, we're going to cut that off. Turn that off. Clip in, you little prick. I'm not saying mean things to your webcam. Yeah, right. I could get the seat now. God damn. Tell me that ain't a fucking picture. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. I need to. Before you do anything. Let's. Uh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh yeah. There we go guys. We fucking did it. Please, you are my guest. You have, you fucking know where the silverware is. You've been here a million times. But because you're hungry and excited doesn't mean you forgot. I did forget. <laughs> spoon, spoon, spoon. Spoon four. <clears throat> All right, this is a real test. Okay. Okay, start with the broccoli. Mm. Mm. Because I know what it tastes like already. Yeah, it's still very good. Okay, now, mashed potatoes in the homemade gravy. Oh yeah. The fucking gravy, man. What's that that gravy <laughs> fucking kill me for it. That is love. Hmm. Alright. And now my first ever taste of beef Wellington period. I think it's gonna be fucking exact. Hey here, you know what? Because there's just a little knob right here. I'm just going to take this little piece off of yours because that is, oh, it doesn't have beef, never mind. Okay, that's a little of everything. There you go. Hmm. There's so much layer to it. So interesting. <laughs> Broken bungee, everybody. I'm gonna be over here smoking a fucking bowl, so don't mind me. Now, let me just say that even though that meat is well done, it's it, first off, it's not. 
it's really not well done. It is fucking, um, it, it's pretty much medium well, I would call it. What do you think? It's still a little bit of pink, but it's not fully well done. Yeah. And the juice was so well preserved that it literally poured out on that metal tray. That's wild. You get everything. I, I get tried them. to layer it all perfectly. And like I said, I you knew get that. that was going to be the start. That earthiness. Earthiness. You get the, the earthiness of the fucking... <laughs> I've developed a lisp. You get the earthiness of the mushrooms. Um, and uh, that uh, uh, juicy, savory meatiness. Obviously, since the meat's the star of it. But you get that little extra bit of, of salty, more... I mean more ham-like flavor on the prosciutto um and uh the 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 pastry around it sort of just holds it all in and gives it this extra little bit of butteriness oh my god that meat is and it's... then right underneath all of it you get that sharp little undercurrent of the english mustard Wow. Really? You wouldn't even know that's me. First off, that falls apart. The way you just... Oh my god. And it has enough spice, enough salt. It's... Holy shit. <laughs> I think I'm giving that a fucking an A. God damn! If I can cook a goddamn beef well and die, I think I can fucking do anything. Wow. And I mean, if you come over, you can even... Let's snap back over to this for a minute. Like... All of this together between those, first off, you can definitely see the pink. That is exactly the way I would want that. That is fucking amazing. And then like I said, you have your almond butter broccoli. You have your fucking amazing potatoes. You have this fucking beautiful beef, all beef gravy. Like there's, there's the roast beef that I literally just made this gravy out of. That's amazing. All homemade, guys. Fucking fresh, amazing. All of this bought was, yeah, about $80, $90. $80, dollars to make all this. Those three cuts of meat alone to make these three Wellingtons was $26. So if you're looking to do this proper, it is wholeheartedly worth it. You can do this cheap. Yes. You can definitely do this cheap. There are even, uh, I found oh. a, a grocery budgeting website that uh, uh, got all of the ingredients for under $20. So it is possible to do it on a budget, but we wanted to go all out this with this because this was a first for See, both of us. Now, if you're somebody who likes it, you could add salt to the, the gravy, but I prefer my stuff without it. As you're eating that broccoli, you get all the flavors of the almond, you get the butter. You get that little hint of garlic behind the almond. You can tell that it's toasted. It's infused all the flavors. Holy shit. I fucking became a chef. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe we should, um... Take a poll on what the next cooking stream should be. I can't really guarantee when it would be, but uh, maybe we could do, hmm, what kind of theme? Italian? Italian's good. Italian's easy. Italian's easy as shit, tutorial-wise. I'm thinking, I really, I love the idea of a good, uh, ooh, well, breakfast? 
Yo, what kind of breakfast do you want, Luke? What are you talking about? Well, breakfast could be the theme, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. And yet again, just looking at the gravy, the parsley, it doesn't add flavor, but it's such a nice fucking thing to look at. This could be served in restaurants. Yeah. This could be served in fucking restaurants. Amazing. Cannoli? <laughs> a breakfast? Yo, Luke, you want to see a fucking breakfast burrito? I could do that. That'd be a fucking amazing next one. Yeah. I can think of so many different variations of that. Plus, I can make my own home fries. Oh, my God. Luke, you got yourself a fucking breakfast burrito, home fry, extravaganza. I'm down as fuck. That's a cheap one. That's a cheap one. This was an all-out. I couldn't have hoped for something better. I... It took, it took basically all day to happen. It took all day, yeah. 420, yeah, buddy. I know, homie. I got you. Thank you. You know what I just realized? What? That uh, you made the reward to pack a pipe. 500 points. Yep. Which is just 80 points away from being 420. Yeah. You had a perfect opportunity <coughs> to get 420 points and you didn't. Why do you always gotta bring up s'morios? <coughs> what the hell did you just smoke? Oh, my hip. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you all just watched that, right? He what? smoked, yelled at me because of s'morios, and then broke his hip. <laughs> Yo, I want some beef gravy beef. Oh, that's hot! Back to this. That's fucking great. I can't. I'm still not over it. <coughs> well, guys, I think, uh, I think that's good. I think we've done it. Yeah. Successful first cooking stream. These things happen, it's good, sir. Mama Bungie's home sleeping, homie. Yeah. She's gonna eat it in the morning. It's fucking three in the morning, bro. It's not midnight, you know, like West Coasters. <clears throat> I'm eating fucking beef Wellington at three in the morning. Like, what's up? <laughs> On May 1st. Hmm. May I have a good month, please? God, I can sit here and just keep fucking eating. Yeah. We're not fucking West Coast, bro. You know what I just realized? What? It's almost summer, and it still feels like we haven't had spring yet. Right. All right. You know what? Let's find somebody to raid. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what do we got? Let's see. Who do we got on right now? Oh, fucking chef house. Luke, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you, dog. <coughs> Carnage, you too, homie. Fuck, you've been here this whole time. Shit, both y'all have been. Fuck. We cooked, we conquered, we fucking did it, guys. Um, let's see. Fuck it, everyone out here right now. See, look, Ness is here, Blaze is here, every motherfucker is here right now. 
I love every single one of y'all. Yo, we're gonna go raid my buddy Dirtle Kingdom. He, he's yeah. been streaming this whole fucking time. Dude's at like 30, 40 some odd hours at this point. He's gotta be. So he is just a streaming fucking fool. I love him. Let's go ahead. We are gonna get ready for this raid over to Dirtle Kingdom. Guys, next time we have a cooking stream, we are going to have channel point rewards. Uh, this was too expensive to be fucking with. So trust me. Next time, we're going to be fucking getting saucy with this shit. Only in the Madhouse. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. So let's go ahead. This laptop sucks balls, but it can at least do this. Dirtle. He's currently playing Balloons Tower Defense. Aw, shit. Let's go ahead and get this shit started, shall we? Oh yeah. And for everybody who would like to keep up with me who is here right now, please, to anybody, exclamation point, Discord, keep up with me with the DMG crew. We completely out here. All of us are completely friendly, amazing fucking people all the way around, y'all. We have everything, a little bit of something for everybody. Please hop on over. Let's go raid Dirtle. Everybody have a wonderful night. Take care and eat well. First episode of Cooking in the Madhouse. We out here. Good night, all.